All right, welcome folks. We are getting started here with a new Civ 4 game. There were a number of requests to do a game that involved using espionage, spy economy, specialist economy. So we're going to try to do something along those lines. This is a game I'm calling Frederick Spy Ring, <laughs> which involves using Frederick as our leader. So let's go ahead and get things set up. So why Frederick? Well, it's his traits. Organized gives you cheaper courthouses and philosophical means that you have the extra chance to plus 100% great person uh, generation. So he is a good fit for this setup. So I've tried to do a lot of kind of unusual or crazy maps on a lot of these games. For this game, I'm going to do something more standard. Um, Inland Sea is a very popular map and we're just gonna run this on a standard size, but with one fewer AI present with six, six players, five AIs instead of having uh, instead of having the, uh, the extra one, so one less than default. I'm also turning off Barbarians for this game. Um, it's one other change I'm making. I run Barbarians for most of the games, but I don't want to deal with them in this game. And our other standard settings are going to be on Choose Religions, No Tech Trading, No Vassal States, No Tribal Villages, No Random Events. So the variant for this game is going to be research is just normal for the ancient age, but after ancient age techs are done, and by the way, each tech does have an era associated with it, uh, for the techs that come after the ancient age, we have to set the, the science slider to 0%. Now that doesn't mean we can't research techs, it means the science slider has to be set to 0%. So that means using um, specialists for beakers, or using spies to steal techs. So that's the that's the hope there. By the way, thanks for subscribing, Dark Kuno. Appreciate it. And you are indeed right on time. So early on, this game's gonna look pretty normal, but it'll start to divert as we get further into the game. Uh, it's also extremely important that we build the pyramids in this game because we need representation. If I'm unable to build the pyramids, this is probably gonna have to be a restart. So I'm really, really hoping that there'll be stones somewhere in the vicinity. Uh, stone can definitely appear on this map. So Frederick, we picked Freddy for his, for his traits, for philosophical and organized. We didn't pick him for his unique abilities. The Panzer comes really late. The assembly plant comes really late. Uh, starting techs are okay, not great. Hunting, mining. This means we start with the scout, which is part of the reason why we have barbarians turned off. Um, mining is useful because it leads towards bronze working, but we probably will have to open with agriculture. Um, since we're going to be running specialist economy, we won't be building as many cottages. We'll be building a lot more farms um, to have food and then, okay, and then um, use the food to run specialists. Now, this is interesting. We've got a gems right at the capital, but that's not quite as good as you would think for other. Um, this actually doesn't look like an especially good start at all. Let's see if there's anything that's revealed by selling. No, th there's not enough food here. I'm just going to do a, I'm just going to restart this. There's not enough food here. This is the dreaded Plains Cow start. There's absolutely no food. I'm just going to regenerate this map. Literally the worst start you can get. All right, this looks quite a bit better. We've got floodplains for food. We've got marble. Oh, why couldn't you be stone instead? So I'm trying to think here. Do we? We probably would want to move to this tile because that would get the gold tile in range. It also gets us the Plains Hill plant. Now the only issue is, are there more resources out here in the fog that we can't see? but I would keep all the floodplains. Seems like the Plains Hill is the way to, is where to go, right? Because it does keep all three floodplains intact. All right, I think that has to be the move. Now watch, it's gonna be like a grassland cow right over there. All right, so what are we naming our capital here? Are we on the northern side or the southern side of the... Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's go. We, there's a there's a pig's resource right here, grassland pigs. Nice, wow. 
Three floodplains and a grassland takes end gold. Wow. Nice. Okay. So, <laughs> the Berlin hogs. I like swine time out of all these different different references. Swine time. So we definitely got lucky. There was no way to know that that was there. All right, so we open with a worker. Research is gonna be animal husbandry, bronze working. Um, so we would get a discount on agriculture. We get a discount on animal husbandry if we go agriculture first, but it's just too slow. We need to, um, we need to get the pigs connected immediately. So we'll, this will finish just in time. So we'll go here, then we'll re then we'll mine this. We might have to go agriculture afterwards. Yeah, we probably have to go agriculture afterwards because I start with mining, so I can mine this immediately. But I want to be able to farm these, and I am farming them, not cottaging them, because cottages are not going to be that great um, on this map because I can't run, after the ancient age, I can't run the science slider. Yeah, this is, uh, this is quite nice, so. All right, great start. Couldn't ask for more than this. Marble is nice too, because that's probably a future. Oh, and there's stone, okay, well. <laughs> so that's, this will probably be a uh, great library and uh, this is probably Great Library and, um, and Pyramids. This could not be any better. I swear I didn't rig this, this map start. A little bit better than the Plains Cow on that, uh, initial one that we re-rolled. This couldn't really be much better. All right, so we're on the southern side of the... And there was a pig over here, by the way. So, our second city... Does the second city go here? One, two, three, because it has stone for a string. Can work the oasis, can borrow tiles. We'd need a border pop, but maybe it goes right there. Let's explore a bit more, but there's a good chance. And we're in this, it looks like we're in the south, are we in southwest corner of the map? Or southeast corner? I need to explore a little bit more. Lots of forests for pyramid shopping, yes. Yes, there are. On the mark, um, yeah, maybe it's on the marble, actually. On the marble, it, because on the marble gets you the extremely rare three production center tile. Yeah, it probably is on the marble. An ivory too, early happiness resource. So I'm just gonna circle around. We wanna defog our whole immediate vicinity. Remember, we don't have barbs to worry about, thank goodness. Yeah, on, on the marble does look like the play. Okay, so we're on the southern, we're on the southern side of the, um, obviously we're on the southern side of the lake, but it looks like we're on the southwestern side. I think it probably curves up and around this way. Some very nice land here, as you'd expect. All right, gonna have to circle around now. Yeah, this is, this is a dream start. Why not one east? Well, the reason why we don't do that is if you settle on the marble tile, the center tile is a three production tile, which is extremely good. Like this, the center tile is a two production tile. Plus it's not like marble is really that good uh, as far as its yield goes. Um, like what what is this if we improve this tile? It's zero food, four production, two commerce. I mean, that's okay, but it's not great. It's better to make this a two food, three production tile get this in first string. Like if we move over here, the pigs are not first string anymore. We have to expand borders, that's too slow. Need that food bonus in first string. This tile is okay because you can work the oasis and also steal this tile from the capital. But if we start here, look at the tiles in the first string, they're all garbage. Like there's nothing good in the first string here. So that's out as a spot. Oh, nice. So there's room for another excellent city over there. That's probably roughly where the eastern border of our civ will be. Um, we want this spot first, then we'll probably look to push in that direction. Because those food bonuses are just too good. Oh, hey, we found our neighbor to the east, Bacal. I foresee that we will be stealing some of his techs. Not who I would have picked, because he's one of the best techers in the game. 
and there's a decent chance that he just founded that religion. But at least we can start getting spy points on him right away. Still not, as I said, not who I probably would have picked. Alright, so he did not found that religion, because he would have converted this turn if he had. Angry Bacall face. So he is our eastern neighbor. Has to be. So Pakal is one of the strongest leaders. He's he's in the sh on the short list of strongest non um, variant like non. Uh, if you're playing with restricted leaders, he's one of the strongest choices. That could be him as well too. I tried have, I've tried not to play too many financial leaders on these streams because financial is such a strong trait. I tried to showcase some of the others. Okay, so there's the bottom of the map. All right, so he has founded Christianity. What was the other religion that got founded? The other one was Hindu. Okay, so Gandhi or Ahsoka is in the game because they're the only ones who had found Hinduism. I'm pretty confident we can get pyramids with the stone being right there. We just have to make sure we prioritize it. So we'll just scout down here and then circle and figure out who our neighbor on the other direction is. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. So, uh, I said I think we need agriculture next, then bronze working, because I don't think I'll need um, slavery for like the next 20 turns or so. Alright, so worker, or warrior, excuse me. Now here's where it would be nice to have the wheel so I could move here, and then build a road, and then move on to the next turn, but... Oh, hey, and we've got horses, too. Capital just keeps getting better. Actually, now that I've got horses, I don't think I do need agriculture next because now I can improve um, Now I can improve these other tiles first. Yeah, now I think I can go bronze working next because I, I like it's going to take... Hmm, how many turns does this take? Four turns to move this, and then a turn to move four turns here, another turn to move four turns here, yeah, with us working the with us working this to double our income, that that should be enough time. So now I think we can. This, this is a ridiculous capital, by the way. I almost never see capitals this strong. It's really absurdly over. So it's Gandhi. Hmm. All right. Yeah, because this will give us. Now the question is, which tile do I improve first? Do I improve the horses first or the gold first? It's probably though. to think about which one to improve. This one has better yields as far as food hammers. This one has obviously the big commerce boost. Still not sure at this point. And Lincoln is apparently our other neighbor. Yep, Lincoln's our other. Okay. This is good news that both of them are relatively peaceful neighbors, so we probably won't have to deal with too much early aggression. People are saying it'll take two turns to reach the whole. That, that's tr uh, it's actually one turn to reach both, one or one turn here, then one turn here. But I think it is more efficient to go to the gold tile first. I think it it wastes fewer turns moving, so I think it is actually more efficient. Silver is nice, so we'll have gold and silver and ivory over here. So happiness shouldn't be a big issue. Let's continue spending on Pakal until we get his graphs, and then we'll switch over to Lincoln. I gotta keep an eye on spying in this game. Okay, so we did not scout one tile. And for, wow, this is like a dream local terrain. I hope we can build enough uh, cities to take advantage of it. Oh, and two more happiness resources over here. What about health resources? That could be the issue. Uh, we only have pigs. All right, the, the corn will be important because we're gonna need health. I guess there's sheep down in the tundra too. So we want to fight, figure out how far away the Lincoln is. Pakal should be a little bit further away to the east, beyond this. I need to scout the vicinity first, then I can do some units out deep scouting. And the corner of the map is probably not too much further away in this direction. So I said I think the southwest corner is 
over here. All right, so we got that. Fortunately, the AI is smart enough to grab this tile. And we don't have the ability to toss down roads yet. Yeah, next time you bemoan your start, indeed. Now, if I was in debug mode, I could see how many more tiles are to the left, because you can see the plot uh, info on each one. But All right. So we will work, yep, we'll work the, this tile for the moment. We don't care how quickly the warrior is built. We just want to get to size 3 as quickly as possible. Then we can start a settler at size 3, rush out to this spot. How close are we to getting Pakal's graphs? Uh, we just barely have enough. All right, well, let's go ahead and see now that we can see his graphs. All right, score, his score is higher. GNP, production's higher. Food is higher as well. Remember, he starts with a worker. But we'll catch him. Power is much higher because he starts with a bunch of units. Okay. This part of the map looks pretty barren, but I'm sure we can find room to put more units in there. All right, so we've got a warrior. Set it on another warrior for the time being. I am going to send this warrior off to find out how far away Pakal is, because there's no barbs I don't have to worry about. Barbarians popping up. Hmm. This corner is. I guess we're a little bit further away from the southwest corner than I thought. I thought we were. We're. I guess we're more like south central part of the. Um. What's the word I'm looking for? Of the central lake. see I want to find where the edge of the map is or maybe not maybe we should just wait until we come in contact with Lincoln because he's presumably over here all right so we of course work this tile over um, we work this tile over the this tile even though it does slow growth the tiles just too much better not to work unfortunately we grow to size uh, three next turn anyway so this will speed up bronze working. Next up, we move here, and then we move to the horses. And then we'll work these three tiles at size three. Fortunately, the gold is gives us that extra happiness, even without a road, because it's on that river. Actually, let's see. Oh, look, there's a fish up there. Nice. So if we put a city here, we'll need to put a city probably here to take advantage of two, three. Yeah, probably here to make sure we don't waste that fish. Yeah, I probably need to start looping back soon because I, I want to know what's in this area. I need to know how soon I need to prioritize that. Okay, so we hit size three and we start the settler immediately. Yeah, there's no point in going further. This is fine for right now. So remember, the gold tile is not actually that great as far as building um, um, like settlers and workers, uh, but this tile is very good for that. Yeah, we're kind of lacking in no resources. The other, the, and the, the other reason the horse is big is because so I can build chariots and send them out scouting. That actually helps a lot. Although I do need wheel tech for that, but wheel is we're going to need to get our agriculture next so I can build farms. But after that, we. Uh, Wheel is the next tech, and then probably on to pottery, so we can start granaries. Oh hey, one of my favorite leaders, J-Man. Alright, so I have progress with Pakal now, let's look for Lincoln next. Lincoln is probably our closest neighbor, I guess it's theoretically possible he is not the one right to the east, or not the one right to the west. Alright, you are heading over. Any borders visible in the fog yet? Nope. I think I do need to, we can like go through here and wind back and forth horizontally. 
Also, we have to prioritize masonry as well, but with that gold tile, we should get there pretty quickly because we want to we wanna start putting chops into the pyramids at an early date. But with the gold tile, we should be able to reach masonry very early and uh, take advantage of chops. This is some nice terrain over here. Maybe someday it'll be ours. All right, so bronze breaking will reveal copper. And it's nice to have that knowledge early on too. It is entirely seemly for a young man killed in battle to lie mangled by the bronze spear. In his death, all things appear fair. Okay. Bronze, let's see. All right, no bronze, oh, there is one. I was like, no bronze visible, but here. By the way, there's a really nice city site over here. Copper, um, uh, corn, and pigs. So that's going to be a priority to get over here. And I need this warrior to tell me how far away Bacal is. For that very reason. But uh, I, did, I did remove one AI so there was a little bit more space on this map. I uh, don't need to prioritize this spot, although, you know, we'll use it eventually. There's not much food down here. And this is not Civ 6 where you can run a food trade route, but we might be able to, we can probably spread irrigation down here. Still, these cities will be weak long term because they won't have enough food to do much. Not until biology pops up and that's, you know, extremely late in the game. Oh, and there's a big old desert over here. Sure, we do this. That shaves one turn off. Unfortunately, we are a little bit short on the agriculture. But you know what? We can do some pre chopping while we're waiting for agriculture to pop. I can move to here. I can put a turn of chopping in, and then I can move here and start farming. Now, why do I pick this tile to farm? Well, the reason why is the settler that goes here will be able to work that tile, and it can be shared by both of these. So that's why that is the first floodplains to get improved. All right, yeah, we're at 19 beakers per turn. That is a lot this early in the game. I'm actually curious what that looks like on the demo screen. So we are number one in production. We're number five in food. I'm a little surprised we're not higher. But we are working the gold tile. We're number basically tied for first in GNP, which is really good considering all the advantages the AI gets at the start of the game. So the east looks a lot more fertile than the west uh, relative to this start right now. Good news is I can also yeah, move one, two, and then here. Uh, I also want to get a road built between these two because it increases, it gives me a trade route. All the others have two. I don't think they have two cities yet. It's very They don't start with a settler on this difficulty. Like we can check the trade table. Yeah, I don't think any of them will have a settler, a city out this soon. Because they do have to build it. They don't just get it for free. Chopping the forest two east, one north is the more chance to regrow. Uh, why? Because it's touching more forests? I guess that's true, but this removing this forest will also make it easier to move through this area. I don't know. That's you're, It's a fair point, but it's relatively minor. Anyway, it's not like we're really chopping this anyway. We're just pre-chopping. Well, that's a lot of religions gone. That's the, um, the masonry religion falling. A lot of interest in religions from the AI in this game. Okay, yeah, this part of the map looks pretty bare. <laughs> a lot of desert, lack of resources. I mean, compare this, the smorgasbord of resources here, to this, well, literal desert. I guess there's more down here, but... So it does seem like we'll want to push to the east first. Anyway, so we put one turn of pre-chopping into this forest. Now we'll move and farm there. Oh, farmers... Pray that your summers be wet and your winters clear. So, oh no, we want, um, yeah, we want wheel pottery. So we're burning through these texts very quickly. <laughs> I'm going to run out of ancient age texts to research pretty soon. <laughs> All right, so move here. Now it does take forever to farm blood plains, so we're going to need to get more workers. Obviously the next build here is another worker. Uh, 
also helpful that I can, uh, although I might finish another warrior, just, uh, I guess I don't need one at the moment. I have enough happiness. It's, of course, nice that I turned off the barbarians, otherwise I would have to be building more units for sure. So that is an advantage for me, not, not having to build more units. All right, there's a, so this is nice, finding this. All right, so now we definitely know a city's going here. First string, uh, first string uh, corn. It's a dry corn, but still. And then we've got the, when borders pop, we get the fish. That's pretty nice. That's probably city three. So here and here, and that gets us off to a great start. And then after that, we can look to push further east. So finish the settler. Um, do I want to finish the warrior? Do we have overflow? No, we actually have no overflow at all right now. Uh, let's see. I think I just want to do the wor worker right now. And the reason for that is until I finish this farm, I don't have another good high food tile. So it makes more sense to work the three improved tiles. So I think that's good for right now. So we're going to need a name for this city. And this city is going to need to pop its borders to get the stone in play. So I will need to pick up, I, I do need to do wheel pottery, but then I'm going to probably have to do mysticism masonry because I do need to pop the borders so I can get the, that stone in. There's plenty of time to pop the borders. We can have the borders pop by turn 50, I'm sure, which will be plenty of time to get this connected, but we do need to get it connected so we can start chopping for the pyramids. Or, hmm, other idea, what if, what if I chop the pyramids in this city itself? No, we should still do the capital because we want to stack up a lot of great person points in the capital. We also want to build Great Wall if we can because Great Wall is super cheap and it will also help us get, um, yeah, it's only 150 production, which is 75 with stone. I mean, that's like nothing. It's like two forest chops. Um, I think we do still want to put them in the capital. We'll, we'll just, we'll build National Epic in the capital and a bunch of wonders in there. It'll be a awesome city. Pearls before swine. <laughs> so we, we had this discussion before. One South gets you stone immediately, but this is just so far superior as a location much, much better. Building great walls solely for the... Yeah, seriously, with, with no barbs turned on, that's all it would do. Okay. So we've built half the farm. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to have this worker improve the, um, the pigs for another six food tile, because that'll help this, this city get off to a great start. And I think I'm going to have this city build a worker too at size one. I don't need a warrior because remember barbs are off. We don't need a lot of units in the early game and I can't build a granary yet. So I think I'll just start with a worker, even though it's stuck at size one. Okay. So what were the names? Swineberg. We had a bunch of different ones. Marble Hill. Well, since we named the capital swine time, let's not do too many pig names because that'll get really confusing. The pig of Palooza is really pretty great too. Um, all right, I gotta go with pig of Palooza because that's I'm just chuckling here as I'm reading that. Pig of Palooza. Yeah. So the reason why I can build a worker in only ten turns is again we've got that amazing three production center tile, which is ridiculous, and it'll build it even faster as soon as we do get this improved. So let's back, check back in on espionage. We need a little bit more with Lincoln to see his bar graphs. And then we'll switch over to J-Man. Note that I've almost caught them in score already. So this uh, this worker is going to need to um, get up here and farm this and probably farm this too. Oh, and I also want to get a road connection through here just to speed up faster. So yeah, I probably should have moved here to pre-chop this because 
this is a tile that's going to be roaded, like ro road here, road here. But we want to get the tiles improved first before we put the roads down. All right, still haven't run into Pakal yet. That's good. The further away, the better. The more room for me to spread out. All right, turn research back on. A couple turns away there. Workers almost done here. Uh, I think I grow to size four here and then build another settler. Put your shoulder to the wheel. Turn the research resource indicators on. Wait, is that water or that's water? Okay, I thought for a second it was Pakal's borders, but it's not. All right, so now we can build roads. Almost have this pig pasture done. All right, so we've got another worker. So I want him to farm this. Um, Actually, no, you can move back here and farm this. Why don't you road here? Although, no. Hmm. No, but I want to move off these tiles. I want to move back to growth tiles. So. Three turns versus five turns, yeah. Even though it hurts to drop those, I want to, I want to grow to size um, four. So this will be done at the end of this turn. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll burn a turn moving to get this tile improved faster because I need another tile for um, this swine time to work at size four. All right, you now pick that up. Excellent. Right, and we still have not found a call over there to the east. Are we going to do Scotland Yard and Bureaucracy Capital? Uh, we'll have to see what develops. It's going to be National Epic in the capital. I don't know what else will be in there. Boy, it sucks not working these tiles, but um, I, I want to prioritize food here. I think that's more important. We have an, we do seem to have a lot of land, like a lot of land. I mean, it'll fill up in time, but we just want to... So one of the things about the espionage economy is it's based on... You can't run... There's no espionage... Oh, wait, there is an espionage slider. I thought that there wasn't for some reason. Oh, well. So maybe we do want to run... Maybe we do want to build cottages. For some reason I was thinking there wasn't an espionage slider. I don't know why I thought that. So maybe we do want to build a lot of cottages. I was thinking we'd have to run mostly specialists, but... Um, well, I guess we do want to run. I just guess we do want to build some cottages. Yeah. Espionage slider can be very good once you have jails. Um, so we'll be farming some of these tiles, but now I'm not sure I want to build that many farms. Now I realize I probably do want cottages on a bunch of these tiles. So this probably is a bureaucracy capital with like all kinds of crazy stuff. Well, specialist economy, we're still going to be running a lot of specialists. But we can build cottages and translate them into, um, and translate them into this. We're still going to be running a lot of... <laughs> Your first great person must be a great spy if you want. It doesn't have to. First great person does not have to be a great spy. I mean, we'll get more of them. We're going to be running spy specialists a lot in this game. All right, let's finish this. This should finish just in time for the city to work it. And we've, all right, so there we finally found Pakal. See his borders. So now we know how far away he is. And Lincoln, let's turn off espionage with him and look to get it with Portugal next. Let's check in on the bar graphs then, shall we? All right, GNP, we've actually been leading, which is kind of shocking this early. Production, we were tops in production briefly. Food, we've taken tops in food. Power, thanks to bronze working, we actually don't look that bad. Culture, Pakala's highest. I mean, we have a lot of options. We've got, we're going to build a lot of wonders because we have double, um, we have both resources right here. And this is a pretty good production cap. Well, I was going to say it's a pretty good production capital. It doesn't have that many hills. It only has two. That's a little bit weak, but I mean, we've got the early doubling resources. So we should be able to build a fair number of wonders. All 
right, so we know how far away. So definitely the priority will be to make sure we get this resource cluster. I don't think we're in any immediate danger of Pakal pushing a settler this far away. The AI generally doesn't do that in Civ 4. So we want to grab this spot and then go from there. All right, so work that tile. We need seven food to grow. Can we work this tile? Yes, we can. I have exactly seven food, then we'll start the settler next turn. All right. So what is the most valuable thing we can do now with the workers? You can build the road here, and you can probably do a bit more pre-chopping. I want to, I want to start, I want to probably cottage these tiles, the two floodplains, but, um, Um, yeah, so you can road here, and then you can probably move here, finish pre-chopping that, and then move here to Cottage when Pottery finishes. Road to the Stone in advance. Um, that's a somewhat lower priority, but it is something we'll want to do. As I said, it's a little bit of a lower priority. Oh, look, a wine wait, we met two AIs on the same turn? I was like, we met Wine Cop back, but I was like, wait, no, Sitting Bull. He's already the worst enemy of Wine Cop back and Pakal. And there's, uh, so we've got some strong AIs, and we've also got some terrible AIs. Pakal and Wine Cop back are strong AIs. Sitting Bull and Lincoln are not very good AIs. Judging by how long it took to meet them, they're probably on the other side. So that's all of the AIs in this game. There's only five of them. That's all. All right. So settler, now there's always the question of do I want to whip this settler? I have to think about that. I probably do, because then I can grow back. Um, but for right now, we're not whipping it. Actually, let's send this out to cover the city that's going to be founded. All right, so you're going to finish pre-chopping that. You're going to road that tile. All right, so we do want to find who our Western neighbor is and how far away they are. We are fortunate to have a lot of space, a lot of land on our hands though. All right, so this timing is nice. The worker will finish right around when um, we're able to start a granary. Don't whip away the gold. There's effectively four AIs. <laughs> Yeah, I removed one of the AIs. That's why there's more space. I did that deliberately to create a little bit more space. Hath not the potter power over the clay to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? So we need to go mysticism and then uh, masonry. All right. Okay, so that forest is now chopped. So we've completely finished pre-chopping this forest. And now this worker can move here and start a cottage next turn. All right, now that's done. I think we want to hug closer to the shores of the lake. We're more likely to find the location of that AI. And the next city is going to go on that hill tile. So we're not too far away from it. So we also have another worker coming out. So yeah, we'll, we'll complete this road with the two workers. I will probably, hmm, I was going to say, do I want to send this person on a deep scouting mission? But I think not. I think we'll build a, I think we can send a chariot on that. I think I more want to keep this person just to see, like I'll scout out the bottom of the map here with this warrior, but then I think I'll probably like hold in this area and just wait to see if Pakal's sending any settlers towards me. Just for the knowledge I think is valuable. Worker, so now you can do granary. Or actually, you probably need to build monument first. Maybe we'll just chop the monument. But I can't start it until I finish mysticism. Yeah. Anyway, so for this turn, one. All right, now the road's done. So we'll get, well, the trade route will pop up next turn. And you move up here. I think I want to cottage. So how much food do I have here? 
This is plus six, and then that's another plus two, so that's plus eight food between those, and then I got plus nine, plus ten. Yeah, I can cottage. One floodplains uh, farm is, is a good, is quite good, but um, more than that is probably excessive. Alright, and then that's the bottom of the map. I mean, I'm, I'm happy not to, ha not to run into an AI here. It means I have more space. Um, I certainly, sh certainly should be able to get everything to the east of this desert, but we'll see how far we can get away from that. Uh, I want to make sure I get this resource cluster. Like, if I could get everything from here to the west, and then everything from, like, here to the east, that, I mean, that's enough for, I don't know, 15 cities, something like that. Would I want to build Stonehenge? Uh, I mean, it's possible it's not with this with the stone it wouldn't be expensive you're right that might be better than just building hmm. maybe that's better maybe we just chop two forests here like connect the stone chop double well no but we need to expand borders first we need to expand borders first for the monument um but it's not a bad idea that would save me the need to build a, a something here to pop the borders a monument be fake we would also get an early, we might get an early profit from that, which is probably not great. No, Stonehenge hasn't been built this early. It's only turned 42. Um, maybe, you know, I think I'm actually going to say no, even though I like the idea, just because um, I want early, I want to focus on, on the pyramids and I don't really want to get an early profit. I don't think a profit really helps me much at all. And I, and I am, do kind of want to build the Great Wall, so I think it's maybe just too many competing priorities. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens, but I'm leaning towards focusing on other tasks, because you can't do everything in this game. You know, you have to, like, pick and choose. All right, so you go here. You can road this. Uh, or actually, you can chop. Um, I'm going to use this to chop out the monument here. And then we'll probably double whip the granary at size 4. I'm trying to think what tiles this can work. So this can pick up this tile here. Uh, this other worker probably needs to help uh, with this cottage, because it'll take forever otherwise. Um, or alternately, we can actually, you know what, let's, let's road through here, because it'll help speed along. The, the destination. Now I could whip this, but it's probably not worthwhile to whip off this many good tiles. And we're still building up espionage points there. And you can just chill there for right now. And yeah, we still haven't found uh, where our nearest neighbor to the west is. Has to be over here in this area. I probably need to start diverting southwest now. It can't be too far away in that direction. Nature herself has imprinted on the minds of all. All right, the idea masonry of next. All right, so I'm going to switch you to a monument. Not something you see me do very often, but we're trying to prioritize that stone. You're gonna chop this. Uh, let's see. Also, that does not slow the settler, so we're gonna move you there. Oh, you're not size. Never mind. I thought that that city had grown to size two for some reason. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this is. Oh, I never revolted to slavery. That's why I can't whip things. Okay. Well, when that set, when we finish that settler. When it starts moving, I forgot to waste a turn revolting to slavery. Yeah, we may very well want to oracle um, a tech like Code of Laws, because remember, we can't research it normally. We'd also get a religion if we founded it, which could be very useful. But uh, oracling something does seem handy, and it, Code of Laws is probably the best thing to, to grab. We could also grab aesthetics, but it's noticeably cheaper. Now, I'd really like to... Oracle civil service, but I don't think I can swing that without being able to um, research, run the slider <laughs> on research. Oh, that's nice. There's some nice resources here. Probably too far away for me to ever settle, though. 
and we need to turn off research for a turn. And yes, tech training is off. All right, so I guess we're hand building this whether I planned on it or not, because we're not in slavery civic. Something that I will need to remedy. Yeah, some of the other AIs are popping into slavery. Oh, that's right. That road doesn't actually help that much because it goes across the river. Oh well. Still road this tile. And then be in position to um, farm this right away because that's this city's food resource. Okay. Masonry tech back on. That forest chop will complete next turn. Probably a little more road building than I should have done. Right, now this is some nice land over here. Ah, there we go. Now we finally found Lincoln. So that's where his capital is. And Lincoln is our closest neighbor. All right. That's still reasonable. So they're about the same distance, roughly. I guess Lincoln is slightly further away. By the way, there's the edge of the map. We shouldn't be able to see that, but we can. So that's where the map ends here on the Inland Sea. All right. So monument done, as expected. Now we're going to grab this tile. Oh, it's OK. Well, we will, we will run this because we want to fit I want to finish the monument a turn early otherwise I would have made the swap there oh we're one turn short oh sadly there's I don't think there's any way to get this finished <laughs> there's no way to get another food hammer here we're at, four, we're at 14 and we need one more I guess we'll get a lot of overflow but finishing a turn earlier would certainly be good there's no, no way to get this uh, a turn sooner though oh well well in that case we might as well no that. What's going on? Might as well uh, work the, start working the cottage a turn sooner. It's not going to matter. Might as well start work improving that. All right. So now where does this worker go next? Um, so these workers need to improve this, but I guess we I guess we pre-chop while we're waiting for that to happen. Alternately, I could save a turn, like I can move the settler here. If I eroded the hill tile as well, I could save a turn's worth of movement by like going here, here, then settle. I think that's probably more wasteful than just pre-chopping a tile down. Yeah, so we're gonna grab this spot next because it's close, it has strong land, but um, I think this is the more important area to prioritize. Also, I think Pakal's a much better leader than Lincoln, so I don't care as much if Lincoln gets a bit stronger. If we can set up shop here and take control of the Blood Pains region, we can backfill from there. Uh, the land over here is just not as strong, so it's not as much we need to prioritize. We will grab it, but... Like, this is still good land, but we can backfill. We can do it a little bit later. All right, so we finished that. So next up, we rode this tile while we're here, uh, and then probably get over here to pre-chop a bit. Like, I actually want to get rid of some of these forests so I can actually work the tiles. Like, I'd really like to cottage this, but um, I can't. I want to save the actual chop until we have the pyramids, we have the stone connected for pyramids. So that'll be 10 turns from now. While you're here, you're going to road this. Now you take control of this tile. And that's fine, doesn't interfere with the capital. Capital supporters are also gonna pop, that's nice. All right, so we've already pre-chopped this tile. Let's pre-chop this one, and then we'll head over to the um, the corn and help, help finish that. So, so far so good. Slip down to last place on score for now, but that's because uh, Wina Kopak founded a religion and popped borders, and he got the score points for popping the borders. Um, we're actually not very far behind these guys at all. Like, if you look at the demos, I think we're in pretty good shape. Number one in food, number one in GMP. 
And although we are fifth in production, we're 12 and Rival Vest is 14, so that's really good. We're not even that far behind in soldiers, even though we have one warrior. Thank you, Bronze Working. How are we doing on espionage? We let's we need another turn or two with Portugal. I mean, I guess technically we don't need another turn or two, but I'd rather run out an extra turn or two. Okay, so now Granary. I think it's right to keep working our best tiles here. I think this is right. Because um, getting the granary done faster actually does help with growth quite a bit. <laughs> Note that's, I mean, Stonehenge is very cheap. If we can get the stone connected and it's still sitting there, if it's like a six turn build, then yeah, I'll, I'll go for it. All right, the settler done. You can road uh, this tile while we're waiting for the settler to get there. Well, he's going to have copper. All right, so pre-chopping. And I'll probably, I think I'll road this tile too while I'm here. And revolt to slavery, yes, thank you. Several people in the chat reminding me that this is the time to swap the slavery, which it most certainly is. Slavery is mandatory for play. <laughs> it's not, not really an option. Okay. I said, rode this tile. All right. I want to get the granary done. Um, granary, yeah. I do want to get a warrior in here as well, but I think the granary has definitely has higher priority. We only have plus four food while we're running all these. Like I could do this instead and then growth is in four turns, but getting the granary actually increases growth by a lot, so. For me, cast versus slavery, it's a shame I'm not spiritual. Cast versus slavery, would both would be really good. Like, I legitimately can use both. Alright, now here, unfortunately, I do not have a tile to grow onto. I guess I'll have to pick up one of these lousy grassland tiles. All I can do. So, what's our name for the new city, by the way, you guys? I'm gonna need a name for this coastal yes, one. Their foes, All right. Their friends. That cities learn the lesson of building high walls. Well, what's still use? Ah, fishing. We're gonna need fishing for that work boat. We'll grab fishing right now. Cornberg. <laughs> it's not bad. No, not everything is not gonna be a pig's name. We're gonna have like 20 cities this game. They can't all be variations of pig names. <laughs> Your first colors. Kornberg it is. So we'll start with the granary, and then we can figure out later if we need to um, build a monument to pop quarters, or we'll see. Maybe we'll be able to. Um, maybe we'll be able to. Maybe we'll have Stonehenge. I don't know at this point. All right, you need to cancel that just in time, because that was going to remove the forest this turn. And you can join. So now the I should probably mark down which forest I've pre chopped because I'm going to forget otherwise. This one. And this one. I've already pre chopped. Alright. So the nice thing is this is five turns to farm. So one turn from this guy this turn, and then this worker comes over and it finishes in two more turns. All right, now that you've explored the Southern Wilderness, get back up there and watch for Pakal units. Because the next unit, next settler we move will push out here to this resource cluster. That's why, that's why I put the road on this tile as opposed to on this tile, because it extends us towards the east. Um, all right, so what do we uh, we work this tile here, and then we'll double whip the granary at size uh, four. Yeah, we double whip the granary at size four. We should get quite a bit of overflow, and the overflow can probably go into a worker or something like that. <clears throat> uh, swine times working on improved tiles. We're working on getting the corn done. So worker labor is keeping up with the supply of uh, settlers. Swine time builds a granary, and then probably builds um, maybe builds a quick warrior for itself for military police and then we're gonna push uh we probably have time to get a settler out and then we'll chop the pyramids but i'd like to get a settler over here first and then 
and then look to build. I mean, we have got time. The pyramids will not fall early. Maybe we do Stonehenge first. That might that might be worthwhile because we don't need a lot of forest chops to build Stonehenge, do we? Yeah, I don't think we need a lot of forest chops for stone. I mean, it's like two forest chops, right? They're 40 production. They get double or 20 production doubled to 40 with the stone. That's 80 just from two chops. Yeah, that's that's probably worthwhile because it only yeah that's two thirds of the wonder just from that. Um, don't forget we can um, mine this for a four production tile, and this is a I believe also a four production no three production tile with the quarry. Yeah, we got a lot of worker labor to got a lot of worker labor to fiddle with. All right, J-Man, I'm going to turn off spying with. I'm going to put it on Wyna Kopak because he is more dangerous than these other AIs. And we're 50 turns in, so we should do a AI survivor-esque look at the bar graphs. Line graphs, I guess they technically are. So we're doing well in GMP. No surprise. We've got the gold tile. Production is pretty good considering I'm mostly working high food tiles. We're actually number one in food. And okay, our power stinks because we have one warrior. Um, but we will build some more units in time. The AI doesn't declare war on you in the early game, and we have pretty peaceful um, neighbors for the most part. I would like to sign open borders to start improving relations with, um, really with all of them. But like, nobody is annoyed with me, which is good. Pakal will probably be the trickiest. We are last as far as most advanced civilizations go. That's a little surprising. I guess the AI does start with three techs at the beginning of the game, and that gets counted in that. But like we've been burning through techs pretty quickly. Already passed Lincoln in score. All right, so you can come back here and pre-chop. I think this is the... Trying to think where I want this person to go. So we have masonry done. How many turns until borders pop? Seven turns. Okay. So I can move here. Uh, hmm. Probably the most valuable thing to do is move here and pre-chop this tile. I actually would kind of like to chop and mine this tile more. Well, you know what I can do? I can do the pre. I can do the mine and chop together, and then just cancel that one turn before it's done. Because I'd like to have a mine on this tile when I want, want to run high um, production in the capital. I think that that's the most productive thing to do. And that'll be just, it should have just enough time to do that and then move back to this tile afterwards. Um, and I'll bring another worker over to help improve the stones. So the stones improve like, we want it, we want it to be improved two turns after the orders pop. So I'll move one of these workers over to help with that. And we're going to need more workers soon too. Always need more workers. So I'm glad that Lincoln decided to send his first settler directly into the southwest corner of the map. Sure, go ahead, send your worker, send your first city in that direction, not towards me. Works for me. All right, and then that should be done next turn. Give a man a fish, and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, and you feed him for a lifetime. All right, so we, we will want sailing, but I think we can pass on that for the moment. Uh, I think I think writing is the next thing we want. Then we can sign open borders. And I am quickly running out of uh, classical era, or ancient era text to research, by the way. <laughs> so we're going to end up with a lot of gold. But, but no, we can put it in espionage spending. That's right, we can just toss in espionage. So it takes seven turns to do this completely. It takes, um, we'll have to cancel one turn before the borders expand. So in five turns, we have to cancel this. Uh, that was the capital popping borders, by the way, for 50 turns, or hitting 100 culture after 50 turns. All right, so Kornberg now has its, um, now has this improved. So we'll want to get another tile improved for Kornberg. Uh, I think I will come down here and pre-chop this tile and cottage this. Actually, no, we'll probably just cottage this tile first because if I cottage this tile, this one can then be transferred to Kornberg and Swine Time can work that tile. 
but we also do want to pre-chop that tile too. So much pre-chopping. Needing to hold off until we uh, can cash in these forest chops. All right, that's as far as the scout can go, so I'm going to have to send it north from here. And scientists, yes, scientists will definitely help. The plan is to run a lot of scientist specialists with representation from the pyramids. That is very much the plan. So it'll be a mixture of specialist economy and spying economy, and that's how we're going to generate beakers. So the one downside to the spy economy is you can only get tech somebody else already has, and that's a bit of a problem. Oh yeah, the, the white borders are very annoying. I, I am sorry about that. Freddy's colors are hard to see. Sorry about that, but it's just Germany's colors are this grayish color. At least we're all the other AIs have mostly different colors. I guess Pakal and Lincoln are similar, but they're on opposite sides, so hopefully we won't get confused with them. Okay, so let's get that cottage down on the floodplains tile. And you need to start heading north now. I'm not that interested in what's down there. I am not gifting a city. There is there's a kind of a exploit slash cheese play where you deliberately gift one of your own cities to the AI because one of the factors in the espionage cost formula is amount of culture you have in the city. So it's like 100% your culture, it's very cheap. That's uh, very cheesy. Um, I, I am not planning to go that route. I think it's not in the way, not, in, not an intended result. Let's just put it that way. All right. So far so good. We need a, don't need to move out of there yet. So these two can cottage and then one of them can come over to help improve that. Otherwise we're just kind of chilling for right now. Rating just for open borders is nice because it'll improve uh, relations. Uh, also, since I do have a seaside town, I, I do need to research sailing next because that'll allow trade routes to move over water and then maybe we can get some open borders income. Yeah, so like this river, you see this river connection here? Uh, if we have sailing, well, open borders will actually give us trade routes with Lincoln, um, foreign trade routes, so that's nice. All right, three turns. How many turns until the borders expand? Four turns, okay. So I'm gonna have to cancel that in a turn or two. I need them to be ready on turn 58. I need two workers over here on turn 58. Okay. All right, so swine time can finish the granary. Uh, yeah, we'll pop out a warrior, and then um, it's time for another settler. And with the granary in place, we probably whip the settler, probably. If I run bureaucracy, would it be worth putting national epic? No, I don't think so. I think that there's going to be enough wonders in it, because the capital is probably also going to get Oxford, or not Oxford, it's probably going to get a uh, great library. So I think, I think national epic, even though it'll just be a jumble of different great person types. I think it's still worthwhile. All right, so granary done. Warrior, I do want to squeeze out this warrior in one turn, so let's do this. Let's see if I can get a city working. I get any city working that tile. Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, well, there goes Stonehenge, so no Stonehenge. It did fall relatively early, so as much as it would have been nice to get Stonehenge, not to be this game, sadly. Uh, that's life. I said I wanted to focus on other, wanted to prioritize the pyramids, so. Yes, you can build the Great Wall with, with no barbarians. It doesn't um, have that function. All right, so turn some chariot then. There we go here. That pick up is gonna need the, just come over here. Um, stream seems to be working here. It never said that it went down on, at least on my end, so hopefully it's all working the way we want. All right, so this is turn 56. Stay at the decent. Yes, this needs to be canceled. So you can move here next turn and then move on to the tile the following turn. Okay. Okay, yeah. And this settler will definitely get whipped. 
and then we'll put the whip overflow into um, uh, do we want to do Great Wall first? I think we do Great Wall first just because it's very cheap and I don't think the pyramids will be built anytime soon. I'm not concerned with losing pyramids. Famous last words, I know, but I think we're I think we're pretty safe. Okay. So now on to the settler. So Kornberg is working. Uh, I think it's better to do this here. That doesn't slow down that time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you over there. You here. And the other worker. a light switch rave in here. <laughs> all right, so we've got two cottages. Uh, all right, so what do we do next? Um, this tile next needs to get pre-chopped. This one here. Because I want to build a cottage on that tile anyway. So we'll start pre-chopping it. Right, just in case we would actually finish the chop. Oh, I never double whipped your granary, did I? Oh well. Uh, all right, so here's what we do: we uh, swap the worker, and then we whip the worker next turn. And then the <laughs> was supposed to double whip the granary. That's a mistake. Sleep at the wheel. We uh, double whip the, the worker, overflow into granary, and then uh, probably go into um, a library after that. Probably. Oh, that was an early ask for open borders, but okay. True glory consists in doing what deserves to be written. So now sailing. Writing, so we're gonna sign up everybody to, to open borders because we're friends with everyone in this game. So he only has one city thus far. This will improve relations with everyone. So he has three, but of course he's imperialistic and expansive. I'm glad he's not next to me either because he expands quickly. He has three as well. The AIs, if it's not Tokugawa, they're all happy to sign. All right, so he's out the three cities as well. Haven't spotted where his third city went. But. All right, so there's the border expansion. So it takes three turns to finish this. And we'll be ready to act. All right, with that worker. Kind of get some nice overflow. We'll definitely finish the granary. All right, so we're working those two tiles. What are we getting? We're getting 14 food hammers. What if I I could get 15 by swapping to this tile? Would that that's probably not worth it though. Um, let's see. So I can whip for 60 food hammers. Um, just trying to see. I'm probably whipping two turns time. So if I get 15, if I were to get four, 15, 15, I'd be at 44. Uh, this is, no, this is okay. I'll be at 42 out of 100. I can whip in two turns. Whip in two turns, and then the, on the following turn I can swap into, um, uh, swap into Great Wall and build it, and then that'll get us more espionage going. Okay. Meanwhile here, start pre-chopping. Or maybe just actually chopping. <laughs> Now, it looks like I could slip this warrior past and go on a deeper scouting mission, but it doesn't matter now. Oh, I have open borders. I can just walk in and scout now. Forgot about that. I was like, wait, I have open borders with everyone. I can just scout them. I don't have to trickle around their territory. Uh, I'm going to build a chariot out of here, and I'll send a chariot over here to explore Lincoln's territory. As far as espionage points go, we're still looking pretty solid. Just need to get that basic, like, 40 to 50 with everyone to get make sure we have their bar graphs and then go from there. Would I go mercantilism? It depends on how much open borders, how much income I'm getting from open borders. But maybe yes, maybe no. We'll just have to wait and see when we get there. Like mercantilism might be useful um, for that reason, but it might not too. Anyway, so I'm gonna move here and then you're gonna finish that chop thing that we were doing earlier. Uh, you definitely don't wanna work that tile. Or no, you can work the oasis now. Much better. 
actually has plus nine food when it's working this. It's gonna be a good city. And we're gonna finish the granary and it'll grow and then we just need to get more happiness resources. Uh, we wanna get over and get this ivory for, that's another happiness source. Furs and so we, we might wanna burn an early city down here just cause this is plus two happiness. Although it would be, any city down here would be pretty sad. Let's, let's be honest. I guess I could put one to share the pigs, but I don't really want to take pigs away from the capital, so probably just a garbage city, but might be worthwhile for the happiness resources. All right. So. Yeah, let's just move. Oh, well, hey, there's a missionary, a random missionary moving out. Wait, does that mean there's a settler heading in this direction? That would be bad. We're whipping this next turn. But, uh, maybe I need to follow this missionary. Well, let's at least get a sight on the capital first. Or maybe the AI is just coming to convert me. There might not necessarily be a city there. All right, library works for right now. Or maybe we, let's actually, let's get another warrior. Capital needs one anyway. So we whip this. All right, so now we want to transfer some of these over. This. Only plus six food per turn. I'm going to need to shuffle this once swine time comes out of. Um, so now you pick up this tile here. Right? Yeah. And I might. I probably transfer this to the capital next turn so it regrows faster. Or maybe not, because I want to make sure I'm... No, maybe not. I want to make sure I'm working this tile. Well, I'll figure it out next turn. All right, so there's the capital for um, the Mayans. Ah. And that is a pre-chop that was not supposed to finish, so <laughs> we'll just reload to the start of this turn. That was not supposed to happen. Okay. You, Wait, over over piece. eager worker, how about you chill and not finish that? <laughs> I'm actually just gonna have you stand there for or I can do this. Put a turn into the cottage. Because I do want a cottage on that tile next. That's the next improvement I want. Like, hey, overzealous worker, <laughs> I want you to finish that on the following turn. Right. Whip off that. Uh, pick up that. And then this tile goes to this city here. Okay. So the quarry is should be done now. Yep, now we have stone and marble. Excellent. And next turn we will put double we will put the overflow from the settler and double chops into Great Wall and it should be done almost immediately because we'll have another chop following up on this turn. And then we'll do pyramids. You know, this city can get settlers out pretty well too. But I wanna I wanna lock down the pyramids before I push more settlers. I think that's the higher priority. Alright, so that's done. We're actually gonna go on to Great Wall. Food surplus is pretty lousy right now. Uh, let's drop the gold tile until we can refill the food box. Alright, and then you... Oh, we need to do this. So now the chop goes to swine time. And then you are going to finish this. There we go. Very nice. So double forest chops. A great wall for all the barbarians that aren't out there. And we'll finish this next turn by having you chop this tile. You, on the other hand, are gonna move uh, and start roading towards this, whatever we build over there. And I'll need to bring another warrior over too. Oops. Or another worker over too. So the question is what tile? Where do we plant this? What's the best spot? So we're going to want one city here for the floodplains and another city here. Do we just go here? On the grassland hill? 
or on the plain sail because it's coastal, gets this in range. I'm just trying to think how we dot map this. Because like I could also go here or here. That actually gets every resource in first string. That might be better. The plain sail spot is good to be sure. It does have the pigs in the second ring, but it has a food resource in the first ring, so that's probably okay. With the copper, it could also build a, a monument really quickly for itself. Probably the best. Being on a, the hill is also nice for the defensive bonus. That's probably the spot we want. Then we need to, if we went there, then where would we put our next city? We'd want to get the, well, if it expanded, let's see, we'd want to make take advantage of all these floodplains. Probably something around here. Yeah, Plains Hill is probably best. And then we'll put something in this river valley. And I want a city to... I would want to go here afterwards because the land is just so strong with the pigs and floodplains everywhere. Like, the land is just so strong. Have to take advantage of it. By the way, are we getting open borders trade? No, we're not. We, oh, we don't have sailing done yet. That's why we don't, we're not getting that. So this city's close to whipping its granary. It just needs a couple more turns, growing at plus six food per turn. Probably needs a library next to pop its borders so we can get the fish in range. And then this will be very strong as well. Pigapalooza, yeah, that's working. Yep, these are all the tiles I wanted for. Jeez, it's growing so fast. I have to get more workers out of there. Okay, so this will complete the Great Wall. And uh, I wanted to get this tile opened up for cottaging anyway, so it's not like it's a waste or anything. Okay, oh, where's my signs? And that was the wrong sign to delete, but I know which one. It's just, this is the one tile that has the has that still remaining. Okay, so you just finished improving this tile. I want you to come help improve this eastern location. That's the most valuable thing for you to do at the moment. That's the fastest way to get over there. Uh, probably to move on to the road network. Yeah, like so. Oh, that's right, we get an extra movement, don't we? Nice, that's the whole reason I did that. So then I can move doot doot, and then doot doot. These are very scientific terms, doot 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 doot. You should probably scout out that, yeah, it would be useful to know if there's a, a seafood resource up there. That is useful to know. All right, so we're guaranteed the Great Wall. Remember, player wins tie breaks in this game. And we'll go on to the pyramids next. I'll uh, work the, build the pyramids while growing. I might whip out another settler in, in between. Um, just make sure I'm working good tiles. I'm, I want to make sure I'm working all my improved tiles, which it looks like I am. Capital probably should get this tile back again at some point soon. All right, I'm feeling reasonably safe about that spot, so I'll keep the warrior exploring for right now. All right, so we're gonna get our first wonder. Put that philosophical trait to use. You can't direct the wind, but you can adjust your sail. All right, so out of the text we can research, Horseback riding is a classical tech. See how it says advances to the classical era. Metal casting is a classical era tech. Iron working is a classical era tech. So these are all no go. Archery we could research. We probably want to research to priesthood right now. I think that's the goal. Uh, so that we can, excuse me, have the oracle as a, as a potential build option. Get to see the cool border wall. Will we go castles? Possibly. Probably worthwhile if we're running heavy espionage economy. It's probably worth it. They do give you a trade route as well. 
then avoid economics and <laughs> have to think about it. All right. Prevents barbarians from entering borders. Uh, that's not useful. This is plus 100% great general emergence within cultural borders. So we're imperialistic if we're fighting in our borders. And then the double speed production with stone. Yeah, and the path to monarchy. Because we can research monarchy with representation specialists. Although monarchy is not going to be useful because we're hopefully going to build the pyramids and be in representation. All right, so we get a great spy in 24 turns. 24 turns. And that chariot's going to keep getting delayed because we're going towards pyramids. So maybe not whipping the capital for the immediate future. Maybe not whipping the capital and growing onto these high production tiles. Okay, so that we have worker labor heading over here. Maybe we get our next. Um, maybe we get our next settler out of Pigapalooza. <laughs> Because Pigapalooza, um, yeah, Pigapalooza can just three three pop whip a settler at, at size um, at size six. I mean, it's just it's got plus eight sur food surplus. So yeah, maybe we just re grow the capital normally. Don't whip it for the time being. Uh, we cottage this tile here. All right, over here. Hey, seafood. Okay, well that may shift our dot map around. Not uh, not here immediately, but. In order to use that, we're going to need a city on this tile. Okay, so let's... Alright, I am trying to road towards this spot. Or do I just run towards the city and then backfill the road later? Hold on, let me see where I put them. So we need to put a... If we want to make use of this, we have to put a city probably here because that'll make use of that floodplains and these floodplains, so let's just mark this down for a spot. So we're settling here, and then probably the probably the city goes here. It does eat up a floodplains, but it would have the pigs in first string. It fits nicely with Pigapalooza. Yeah, I think that's where that goes. One, two, three, four. Yep, four tiles away. That looks good. One, two, three. And then we would put another city probably here if it's still available, probably there. And then that's our east dot mapped, aside from, you know, filler cities in the deep south. But uh, if we can get this spot and this spot, I think we're, or maybe we would even settle this first just to wall off a call, maybe. So I understand the potential of putting the desert hill tile, but I think it's just a little too cramped. I don't, I don't like the spacing as much. Um, these, this is, game is going to go on into the late game, and there won't be an, uh, there'll, there'll be. A, I just think there's a little too much tile overlap. But uh, otherwise, the desert hill would make sense because you're not wasting a floodplains. But I just like the spacing better here. Settling on floodplains, yeah, a little, always a little frustrating to see, but. Because there's so many floodplains, it's not as bad here. And I also really like having the pigs for a string. Okay, so um, I want to build roads from the perspective of going through here. So we would probably road here. Oh, I could have moved to this tile and tossed a pre-cottaged instead of just wasting the turn. Oh well, certainly not reloading for that. Although I think rather than build the roads, I think what I'll do is I'll move these two workers to here and then to here and then so they can start improving the corn. I want to get the tile. It's more important to get the tiles improved than to build the road. Now the road would be important if I was worried about being attacked for reinforcements. And I do need to get some actual units out here at some point. Um, but for right now I think I'm okay. The plain tile across the river from the floodplain city spot. Um, well up here, I don't know if this is what you're referring to. Up here, I, uh, were you thinking about this spot? Uh, I don't like that as much. I really like this spot. I, I, I've been thinking about it. I don't like this spot as much. Um, it moves away. I mean, it's second ring pigs, which I guess is okay, but I don't know. doesn't seem that useful. So again, I, as always, I appreciate the suggestions, but I think I'm happy with what, um, what we've picked up there. Okay. 
So we've got more forest to chop here. We need, definitely need more worker labor. Um, Kornberg does need to finish its granary, but um, I'm going to need more worker labor after that. We need to chop more forests. I guess I have double workers here. Once they finish these cottages, they can go back to chopping. This is, this is pre-chopped already. And some of these forests down here can definitely get chopped too. I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have pen potentially have seven more forests to chop. Yeah, and Pickapalooza's unhappy now. That's fine. That'll wear off. Yeah. We'll, we'll get our next settler out of Pickapalooza because we want to make sure we're still pushing expansion as the enemy scouts are... Various scouts are running around over there. This warrior could always come back for defense. <laughs> it feels weird putting a settler out here with no military unit to defend it. I really should get some units back there to help protect it. All right, there we go. We'll take that back, get that cottage in play. Uh, we will double with the granary here uh, in a turn. And this city should move on to... Uh, well, it should move on to this tile once we can grow. Actually, I think I might move on to this tile. Move on to the floodplains, whip Kornberg, and then that will free up this tile for the capital to use so it can grow a little bit faster. I know it says 40 turns for the pyramids, but we can probably get it done in about 15 to 20 turns with the forest chops and growing on the uh, larger tiles. All right, so Wynakopek, I think we're good for espionage with him. Lincoln, still good. Uh, all right, J-Man, we need to run another turn or two on because he spent some espionage against us and now we lost his bar graphs. No, I want Pigapalooza to grow. I don't want it to be no growth. The whole point, I'm growing it to size six and then I'm going to whip, it, uh, whip a settler out at size six. It's perfectly fine for it to grow into unhappiness. It would be, I mean, I'd rather have enough happiness to keep it pacified, but it's okay. And uh, we'll get a city, we'll put a city there. Maybe we, maybe we plant this city next because that gets us ivory. Um, and that, that extra happiness would be nice. Although this is a far superior location, so maybe not. Maybe we do go here next. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, and of course, we will want to push for this side too, but uh, the land is a lot weaker over there. Like the first, the next city over here is... Hmm, so we need to make sure there's enough food for these cities. Like I would want to use the copper. And it would be useful to have a coastal city, but like it would need food. Uh, it would probably be on this tile to be able to work water tiles. It would just need to farm one or two of these. So there's probably a city here. And then that wouldn't be the first city. We'd probably go uh, maybe here the cows and then like we'd have to farm a lot of these floodplains tiles because there's it's a low food zone probably those spots but like there's that they're not that good as far as city spots go and this is all backfill we can delay this for the time being i'm curious how many cities these people have so okay so pakal is doing his i don't like to expand thing we've seen this in ai survivor a bit he's not fast to expand because he builds wonders Lincoln actually does have four cities, but he only has one resource connected. I'm not willing to trade him uh, an excess resource right now. I also need to connect my pigs at some point, because there's no road on that tile. But we're not running into health issues yet, so we're okay. All right, on we go. We'll get silver sooner or later. It's just that it's not really worth putting a city down here because it's a very low quality part of the map. All right, uh, so you, even though this is not the most ideal time to whip a granary, because I'm working bad tiles, I'll go ahead and whip that there. Whip it a little bit early. We'll get quite a bit of overflow. Uh, I think it has to go into a library to pop borders. Or do we, um, so like the monument finishes much faster. We could almost finish the monument just with the overflow from the whip but the monument doesn't do anything. Uh, it's probably st probably still worthwhile to do the monument just because then it'll get the fish tile in play as far as opposed to delaying it. 
All right, so now we take this tile back. And do I have a tile to work there? Yes, we'll do this so it grows in two turns. Then we'll move back onto the gold tile after that. And this tile's already pre-chopped, so we should probably just cash that in, honestly. And then we can go. And then uh, this worker and this worker can grab these two at like the same time. Why switch off the floodplains cottage? I did, I'm using all my floodplains cottages. They're all being worked right now. All right, so we finally finished this and we'll need a name for this city. Sydney Barkstad. I don't think we have room for all of that. Just go, how about we go with Sydney Barks? This one's a bit this one's a bit more expensive, but look now we've got the overseas trade routes incoming. Alright, so first up, granary. Alright, so that's nice. Alright, back to espionage. Uh, I guess we gotta keep spending on Portugal for right now. Beautiful terrain over there. Just beautiful terrain, but we are sticking our necks out a little bit. So he's bringing over a missionary. We may want to consider converting to Pakal's religion because it'll give us a big boost. Although that would require eating a turn of anarchy. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I'll have to think about it. So he's clearly bringing this missionary over, but that would give me extra happiness too. All right, pick up Palusa. Just needs a couple more turns. Germans bringing Christianity. Well, Mayans, I suppose, technically. I would move this warrior over, but then that would make Pigapalooza even more unhappy. So, yeah, I think I do need to build some actual units. I could build some axes and spears once this is... I, you know, I need to find a city that's just you, to be used for a military pump. Get a barracks and just build military. I don't know that I have a great spot for that just yet. Pigapalooza would be the best that I've spotted thus far. Sydney Barks with that copper would be okay. Maybe that spot. Like, I'm the AI doesn't attack you early, but like eventually that grace period does wear out. Alright, so we do we do I guess we do the library. Because we only need it we only need four population to whip it. Um, because like we already have 24 production right now. If we can get the size 4, it's a 2-pop whip, and then it'll be done. So it'll take a little bit longer, but... Alright, so there we go. Swine time. Another forest chop. Oh, I need a, I need a military unit here, don't I? It's going to be unhappy next turn. Uh, okay. Kornberg, you're on it. You will supply the happiness for the capital. So there's... I didn't realize that, I just realized Mutal is a double holy city. Bacall really likes his uh, religions early on in the game, it seems. So there should be another AI right up here. There should be one somewhere in this area. That's what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to figure out, find where all the AIs are on the map. Okay, so we finished a cottage there. Wait, can I work that? With, yeah, Pigapalooza can work that. Um, can I, I mean, I could do this, but I don't know if that's better. I think it's better to work the resource tile right now. We can get some more happiness. All right, so the other question is, where do I send this next settler? Out of all the various locations. This one would bring us ivory, but it would be a slow starting city. I also don't know if I have the worker labor for that just yet. See, the capital would normally be kicking in a few more workers, but because it's doing the pyramids, it's uh, been slowed down a little bit. 
Cal City for your barracks. Where's Cal City? Uh, hmm. I think I want the next city over here just to lock down the east. The strongest spot by far is this location, so I think this is the one we take. It's definitely the strongest spot with the pigs um, and all those floodplains. It's a very strong location, so I think we have to prioritize that. Ivory for Happiness does need to come soon too. Um, so it looks like we might get. Do we have like? Oh, here's the Christian missionary. We might get Christianity here soon. I think I do want to um, make that switch sometime soon. All right. So this was. This is three turns here. All right. It's two turns. I'm gonna run the. Wait. No. I'm already at the happy cap. Yeah, I'm ready to happy cap, so I think we run this here, work the gold tile, then we'll pick this up um, at size 6. <coughs> and uh, with that plus, that, that would get us up to, I don't know, something, some higher production. Um, with, with working that tile and working these two tiles, should be pretty good. Too bad we can't get an organized religion to use the uh, organized religion bonus for chops as well. All right, so this is 80 production towards pyramids. Uh, I guess we're actually still a fair way off, aren't we? Well, plenty, still more forest to chop after that. Like if I did this, it does drop down to 15 turns, and that's what we'll be working as soon as we crow. All right, anyway, Pigapalooza grew. I might have been one turn slow in switching it over, but uh, it grew. Now it has two unhappy faces, so we'll we'll whip this next turn. Man, I need to. I need more units pretty badly. I have like three warriors in my territory, so we're growing at a fantastic rate. But uh, our, we are totally undefended. Uh, the good news is we're not really close to any of the AIs. Call is closest. It might be worth converting it to his religion soonest just because it'll build up relations with him. It'll, it'll uh, knock relations down with Wina Kopak, but he's obviously not very close. Not at all similar are the race of right, the immortal priesthood. gods and the race of men Chop. who walk upon the Chop. earth. I thought there'd be an AI in this corner. Maybe there still is and we just haven't found them yet. Oh, there it is. There's Portugal. I should go check out Portugal. Yeah. Hard to see on the hard to see the borders, but they are in fact there. Alright, so we managed to get this done. Very good. This will be important too, because this will get us copper. Uh, although that will take away the ability to build warriors for having copper in play. All right, so let's whip you. Overflow into... Maybe we overflow into a warrior and finish that quickly. So we have at least a unit over here. <laughs> One unit for two cities. Oh, here comes more missionaries. Okay, if he really wants to convert me, like, this would be great if he converted this city. I would actually convert just to pop the borders. What are our break even is 70%, so we're still looking good. Uh, apparently he really wants to convert me. Alright, so we might as well road this so that we can then walk over here. Yeah, let's get a warrior out for military police, if nothing else. We have an unused cottage there. Um, although, I think Pigapalooza can pick that up. Alrighty. Alright, so the good news is, it looks like um, the third city for Pakal went north instead of towards me. Looks like that's what happened. Cornbird, you just grew, that's fine for right now. Let's see, Library says three pop whips, but it's about to be a two pop whip. 
I mean, if it's really useful, we could always end up running Pakal's religion just as our state religion here. Man, I need workers so badly. <laughs> yeah, really need workers. Uh, the other thing is, if we can get the pyramids, representation will give us extra happiness in our top cities. So that also reinforces that we probably don't need to plant a subpar city just for the purposes of getting an extra happiness resource. But yeah, I uh, certainly wouldn't hurt to have Pakal's religion for diplomacy and for... Um, I guess we don't have a trade route connection to him. Oh, did you see that? Sydney Barks liberate. Yeah, I... no. Nobody. We're not doing that. Wynak Kopek only has two cities. Pakal has two as well. Oh, no, never mind. I thought his third city was north, but he just has really big borders. Yeah, not, not great expansion from our, our boy um, Pakal. Fort Porker. You guys are already suggesting the names. I mean, that sounds right. All right, so double the double forests get the pyramids down to 10 turns. And then we'll chop two more forests as well. So 10 turns. I think turn 80 is pretty safe for Emperor, I hope. I still have that chariot in the, in the build queue. But uh, if we can chop the if we can chop two more forests, then that gets that down to like five turns. So turn seventy five should be yeah we should be around turn seventy five ish. All right. Meanwhile, over here. Okay, so we've got another warrior out here. In fact, I think I'm just going to build another warrior. So each of these cities at least has a warrior in it. This city actually would be a really good production center. Maybe we do that. Maybe this is our barrack city. Just because it has a ton of food. It has enough food to work all these mine tiles, right? And, like, we're not producing commerce in here. Yeah, maybe this is our barrack city. Because, like, if we if we farm... Like, we have what? We have plus eight food from, from this tile, these three tiles. And we've got this, and then we could mine these. Yeah, I think this is our... I think Pigapalooza is our barrack city. Because it's it actually has food and hill tiles to work, and then this is where we build our military from. Yeah, I think that I think that's how we run it. And maybe gets a wonder or two down the road too. All right, J Man. Finally, we have enough espionage with him, so we can now start spending on Sitting Bull. Although we're about to turn on the slider sinks, we're almost out of, like we're running out of commerce here. So we're about to need to run the slider soon. Hornberg still working on that border pop for that fish. Hornberg's a little slow developing. Bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. How we can work? And be gracious. Oh, I was gonna say we can do code of laws, but that's we can't run the slider by by variant rule. We can't run the slider for that tech. So what do we research now? Um, out of the options here, archery is probably the most useful. Before we have to turn off tech, archery, meditation, monotheism. Those are all uh, ancient era texts. So I guess we'll just grab these three and then we turn off research spending forever. And we turn on the espionage slider. All right, which one of these? This forest is probably more useful to chop than that one. Oh, hey, and Kornberg got another forest. Cool. Can use that for chopping. Okay, so you guys suggested a whole bunch of names up in the chat. Let me look at them. Winkington. I like Fort Porker. Fort Porker, I, I like. No, Fort Porker. <laughs> Alright, so now we've got this area. I won't say completely locked down, but um, looks like we've are in pretty good shape here relative to um, Pakal. So now I'm going to look to probably push to the west. All right, so look at this city, Granary. Very nice. Can build that Granary very quickly. All right, yeah, so we'll chop these two tiles, and when those chops finish, we should just about be done. So here's the thing. If I connect this road, I can't build warriors anymore. Then I'll have... Uh, wait, wait, actually, we don't have a connection here. This city's not connected to the trade network, huh? Well, we'll just have to road it. That, that's easy enough. We'll just road here and road here. 
Um, but I think we do want to do that because I want access to um, axes and spears. Yeah, it's probably because the coast is not defogged, these two tiles here. I think that's the reason why. So yeah, I think that's right. So maybe Pigapalooza will squeeze out one more warrior before we connect the copper and send it over to Kornberg so it has a defender. Well, swine time. All right. It says nine more. So we're getting 26 production per turn towards the pyramids. And then, yeah, I think when the double forest chops finish in three turns, I think that'll either complete it or be very, very close. Uh, which coastal city would be good for Moai? I don't know if I've identified a, a really good Moai city yet. There's a there's an argument to be made for Kornberg just because I could get it in play very quickly. And it's better to get an early Moai than like wait for the perfect spot later. Ivory City also has a good claim. It's probably one of those two. Probably one of those two. Pigapalooza is unhappy again. Let's throw the arrow, which will return against. All right, we'll grab meditation and monotheism. I mean, we're still break even at sixty percent, so it's not like we're running out of. It's not like we're driving into bankruptcy here. Oh, and then that's the end of the map. Wow, the lions are really crammed into the corner, aren't they? We took away a lot of their good land. I mean, like they can have this. I wouldn't want to try to push that far east, but we grab this spot too, and we have like this entire river valley. We've gotten all the good land, haha. -ha. Alrighty. So we'll build the road through there while we move through the tiles. And, uh... Alright, so now you are going to check out um, Portuguese territory while you're over here. Yeah, Kornberg needs a warrior for happiness, but... Here's the thing, we can whip that library. Uh, let's let the, let's let it run down. We'll, we'll let the food box fill up a bit more and whip it when the, that whip duration wears off. I'm a little behind in terms of worker micro because we've been working on the, we've been working on um, the pyramids here and that, that has required a fair amount of investment getting the pyramids done. Oh, look, the, the chariot's decaying in the build queue. That's... I don't care. <laughs> I don't really care. I probably will not ever finish that unit, because I screwed up. Uh, so where's the next settler going? There's a decent call to be made that we just put it down here, and then we're done with this side of the border. Or, alternately, we can go to this spot. Maybe this spot's better. I mean, Mr. Pakal has just not been expanding. He did finally put down another city, Chichen Itza. Can we see where that is? Can't see it, so there's a, odds are it's probably over here. It's the most likely area. Now he has another missionary over in my territory, doesn't he? Yeah, right here. If he converts my capital, I'm gonna I'm gonna revolt post pyramids. If he converts my capital, because what I could do is I could go for, uh, representation plus organized religion, double up on the on the revolt, and then pop into Christianity. Yep. All right, buddy, he really wants me to join his religion. <laughs> and the religion spread in Sydney Barks, too. So much for needing to expand borders there. All right, I think we I think we know what our religion is now. So let's go monotheism then before meditation so we can revolt into representation plus organized religion. Thanks, buddy. And this will improve relations with... Um, it'll improve relations with Pakal, who is our closest neighbor. And also it can be a bit ornery sometimes. Look at this city. This is going to be an amazing city. So many floodplains. So much espionage. Anyway. Let's have you just move straight there. And then you can build the road so that we're not wasting as many turns. I should circle up and around. I guess we'll move on to this hill tile and then circle. Oops, all right. And I don't think I need to explore that corner. I can just head north. I think we've seen all that there is to see here. So 
So how many more turns do we need to research? Turn on science next turn. All right, so these chops are gonna finish on this incoming turn. I don't know if that finishes the pyramids, but it should be super close. More corn cornberg. All right, almost. We've almost got your library done, and then we will build a workboat for you, and maybe we'll get you a warrior. Oh wait, you were gonna build the warrior for that. You were gonna build the warrior for this city. For poor cornberg. Don't worry, representation happiness is on the way. All right, there's the double chops. How close are we to getting this to two turns? I guess we're not that close. So I guess that's fine. All right, now we finally have the workers freed up to go do other stuff. 106, this will put it at, yeah, we will. All right, gotta keep those fingers crossed. I guess it'll be turn 77. Should be pretty good. All right, you need to road there. I wanna get that warrior out one turn soon. And you can whip that uh, next turn. Turn science back on. That'll get us close. Okay, I'm gonna use this worker to help out um, at Kornberg. And then this worker can come over here and improve some tiles for Pigapalooza. Mostly I wanna get some mines down for Pigapalooza. And the capital can probably whip um, either workers or settlers. What do I need more? Probably need a, more workers. More than I need more settlers immediately. If I convert, will Pakal stop sending missionaries? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> will he stop sending missionaries? All right, Kornberg needs another tile, so I should chop this and then cottage it, because that's the best. Uh... Sorry, Kornberg. Kornberg's like, yay, we're finally not unhappy, and it's like, actually, you're yeah. I should uh, change this one. So Sitting Bull picked up... He picked up um, the other religion from Pakal. Picked up Pakal's minority religion. So this tells us Sitting Bull is probably to the north. Kind of has to be there. All right, you're going to go over to Kornberg. Put you on a go-to order. That's fine. Right. We want to improve this tile because it's a, has a pretty pretty decent yield. Gives another capital, another tile to work. All right, yeah, I can't finish it this turn. So all we have to do is cross our fingers on this turn, and uh, we're guaranteed to get the wonder afterwards. Because remember, if it's same turn tie, the player always wins. His player's in slot one on the setup screen. Yeah, here. Is it still two turns if I do this? No, it is not. I will do this though. Actually, I'll do this because that's a better tile. Yeah, this, I think we, okay, I think we whipped a worker out of Pigapalooza and then build a barracks and uh, maybe a settler out of swine time. We can send the settler maybe over here. But I definitely need more workers and more settlers. We're, by the way, we're all the way up to first in score already, which is pretty funny. And we have to keep an eye on our espionage. Once we turn on the slider, have to start looking to steal from other people. Um, we'll need to go Code of Laws. I think we said we're going to look to Oracle Code of Laws. I'm assuming it's still there. And that would even give us our own religion, which would be pretty funny, although I think I'm better off using Pakals for the moment. All right, so we got the library done. Excellent. Now we need a work boat. Um, can I switch a... I can probably switch something around so it can work that tile. Yeah. Uh, 
you do this, you do this. I know there's minor starvation at the capital, but that's fine. Yeah. And you, yeah, that's one, two, three, four. Wait a minute. I have two unhappy, oh, I have two unhappy faces, whoops. Oh, well. <laughs> we have representation on the way. We're now guaranteed to get representation. Um, now, can we get, like, how many beakers short are we? Because I'd love to build the pyramids and then revolt the next turn. Can I get into monotheism here? How many beakers short am I? Hold on. So, it's 120. Got my calculator here, 50 times so it says 60. I'm like seven beakers short. Is there a place I can get more commerce beyond what I'm working right now? Hook up some pigs. Mm. There we go. We'll do this. We work the, see, now we get monotheism next turn. Work a water tile, we'll do it. Poor Kornberg. I'm really mean to Kornberg, aren't I? Anyway. <laughs> I'm really quite mean to this town. But that lets us uh, double revolt without wasting a turn. All right, there we go. Now I've got the pigs connected there. Oh, a lot of forests. Road that and then we'll start working on improving some of these. We're gonna have to, these workers are gonna be getting a, an absolute workout between Sydney Barks and Fort Porker. They both grow so quickly. Sydney Barks will probably two pop whip a, um, probably grow to size four and two pop whip a worker to help out because it grows so freaking fast. And Pickapalooza will finish the library, but I really wanna get a barracks in here and then build military. All right. Are there any? No, I don't have any spare resources at the moment. I actually am using all of them. Good, quite good, good point though. All right. I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So the only other tech we haven't picked up is meditation. So I guess we'll grab that. But then we have to turn the slider off and start stealing from other people. I have seen the Pyramids Wonder film a gazillion times. It was one of the, I believe it was one of the first ones done during development because it was used in uh, an early, uh, like, uh, showcase for Civ 4. All right, so representation, organized religion. There we go. Yeah, the Native Americans must be to the north, which means that Wina Kopex in the center over on that side. And we'll re and we'll revolt to the religion after that. It's actually not the worst time to do a revolt either, because we've got a lot of workers doing stuff. All right, let's let's finish this road. Um, just even though it's not ideal, I want to finish this road connection. We'll build it through here. Would it have been a restart if we didn't get the mids? Uh, probably yes, because I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the beakers from running specialists. So some cities are gonna build cottages and run espionage economy, and some cities are gonna build food and run specialists. And we'll do a mixture of both in this game because we want some passive beaker generation. Um, but in addition to that, we also want, um, we need this now to be working actual good tiles. Um, but we also want to be running some specialists too. Like this city, Kornberg, will be able to run double scientists, and we definitely will. Uh, we just need the workboat to be finished. Um, I'm going to let it grow, and then when it grows, I'll work this tile so it has some actual production. And then that'll get the workboat out. So like Sydney Barks, you see, doesn't have an, a good tile to work. Um, so it'll finish the granary, good. And then what? Uh, what does it build next? 
probably a library so it can run scientist specialists. Yeah, that's probably what it does. This uh, Sydney Barks is apparently getting representation happiness, which is pretty amusing. Yeah, probably the library is next. Or do we just, or we could try to chop out the Oracle here. I mean, we do have forest to burn. Or do we try to get the Great Lighthouse? <laughs> I don't know. Got a lot of wonders. Maybe we just, yeah, let's just chop the Oracle here. The city has good production. We've got workers. Why not? The, the capital's got other stuff it's working on right now. We're gonna be an organized religion, or uh, so we'll get the organized religion bonus. So Pakal, well, is, we're now pleased with Pakal. Now he does plot where it pleased. So that doesn't make us 100% safe, but uh, it does mean that um, Wina Kopak will not like us, but he is very far away, so I'm not too concerned. Yeah, let's just let's do it. Let's just chop this thing out. Got the marble. We're gonna probably cottage these tiles anyway. Although now I should cancel this. Because we have a more urgent priority. I want to make sure this... Alright, so this is cute to Sydney Barks. Okay. Oh, I forgot we're going to get production uh, from the chop, too. So this doesn't pop up this turn, but it will next turn. Alright, well that'll instantly finish the work boat. And then we can either do Moai or something like that for our next, or we, maybe we get a worker. All right, Swine Time, why don't you finish this chariot? Uh, okay, we've got a bare tile here. Uh, we can definitely work something better than that. Kornberg's eating up those tiles. Uh, so we need to, oh, we're gonna work the quarry, but it's not done yet. So I guess that's fine for the time being, unless I can get something from Pigopolis, but no. All right, that's, I guess that's what we do for right now. Need more, need more workers as always. Lincoln is actually in second place on score right now because he actually has five cities. Oh, we do have an excess corn right now, so. Why don't we make a deal for that? Improve relations with him. It'll take time, but eventually it'll build up. All right, so you need to build that cottage there. Pigopolis now has plenty of happiness. Uh, what's our whip timer? Alright, so the whip timers run out. Let's finish the library and then... Uh, oh, we can do four turn workers? Ooh, that's nice. Maybe we don't need to whip here. Maybe we just build a couple workers if they're that fast to build. We will have to get some military behind that soonish, but... Four worker. Everyone's like, I don't, I just need workers over there. Uh, over here, swine time, oh, it needs to, we're gonna do a settler here. And then that's one way to deal with these bad tiles, I can just whip off of them. Yeah, we'll just whip off them. So there's our work boat. Uh, it'll be, have to wait a turn for the borders to expand, but that's fine. Yeah, we need, we need more workers really badly. And since we're going to found eno yet another city, we're going to need workers even more badly. Next city, I think, goes here on the cow spot. Got it. The worker labor is not really keeping up with the supply of cities thus far. But that's a good thing. Like, that's not a bad thing. It means we're... So, there's one of our scientist specialists. But this city, I want to... Uh, this city can... Almost base production 14. I guess it's not quite at the point where it can three turn workers, but yeah, well, we'll definitely uh, definitely look to get some workers out there. This city, you know, Kornberg can two pop whip a, a worker as well. Yeah, it can it can just grow for the moment and then two pop whip a worker because it's gonna have a ton of food the minute this gets connected. So that's probably the Code of Law's religion. Let's see. Probably. Uh, no, it's the Theology religion. Oh no, it is the Code of Law's religion. 
theology still has its so we weren't going to get it looks like we weren't going to get a self-founded religion anyway so we might as well use Pakal's since we're not going to as we said not going to get our own religion nice that he lets us uh explore his territory like this need to get a scout over to Lincoln um so I can see wh how like how fast he's pushing towards me Always need to do more stuff. There's never enough time. All right. So Sydney, Bar yeah. Well, we'll finish the Oracle as soon as this is done. So, oh, we were narrowly denied a religion. Narrowly denied the Code of Laws religion. Oh well. Is what it is. Then we're gonna need to get to Alphabet so that we can um, actually build or Alphabet so we can actually build spies. Might be a little tricky getting there, but. Um, We'll get there. Where do I where do I Oracle Alphabet so I can build spies? Hmm. Alphabet's a lot cheaper. Well, not really. It's a little bit cheaper. But I do need to be I do need to be able to build spies. I can run the espionage slider. Hmm. I'm trying to think which would be better. Oracling alphabet's a little bit weird. No, I can't research alphabet with the with the with beakers. I can still research it, but I'd have to use specialists. Probably would be better to build. Probably would be better to build to light bulb alphabet because then I can get the um, I can get the spy train started. I do want courthouses. Don't get me wrong, but um, it's like if I get alphabet I can build spies while running the espionage slider if I get code of laws yes I can get more espionage from courthouses but I have a lot of other stuff to build before the courthouses honestly and um if there's not I, like I can run if I run the espionage slider but I don't have spies that's kind of wasteful right like the espionage is just going to stack up and not do anything so I think alphabet is actually better to grab from the oracle we just need it not to be built on this this turn right here. All right, now I can whip this for three pop. Would it be better to whip it for two? No, it's better to whip it right now. Oh, and so we're probably gonna get a great spy from, we're probably gonna get a great spy from the first great person here. Also have it odds to have a chance to get a, a great person. If, if I get the engineer, I probably, maybe we do Temple of Artemis. Maybe we do, Par actually we probably would do Parthenon because that would increase the great person generation. That would probably be better. And that's one I likely don't get otherwise. Well, we can think about it. Could also look to get the great lighthouse. Oh, I didn't, I didn't whip. Uh, I was telling myself I was gonna whip and then I didn't. Well, this will get us a ton of overflow into something. More overflow than we really need, honestly. You're just waiting for the borders to pop there. Uh, we will switch you to a worker and whip next turn. Or next turn switch. So now we actually have an excess marble, but I'm a little hesitant to start giving the AI marble. Uh, I also need to get more cottages built for the capital because it's going to be growing very quickly. All right, so now we are guaranteed the Oracle because remember we win same turn. To oh, we're just short. Uh, I thought that we had it, actually. <laughs> well, we're not guaranteed it for one more turn. And this is late enough that it could fall. Unfortunately, I can't whip it either. See, I would need more pops. So we just have to cross our fingers and hope that it lasts for one more turn. I'll be rather disappointed if we don't get it at this point. Okay. So this city does need tiles to work. Um, so we should toss down a cottage somewhere quickly, and then Port Porker is going to need cottages very badly. You're just building a worker. You're about to whip a worker. You need to get units out. And then I'm going to have to build the spies, too. <laughs> well, at least then we'll be able to see what techs everybody has. Maybe we try to steal from J-Man. Although he's a long way away, so it's a little trickier. If I drop no, uh, it's not enough. I'm seven. Sh I'm, 
I would need a six production tile. There's no six production tile I can pick up, but uh, appreciate the suggestion. All right, it should be next turn, the borders pop. No, you're kidding me. <laughs> no, no, that did not just happen. We're at 144 out of 150. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's that's actually really bad. We kind of needed that. You gotta be kidding me. Oh boy. Wow. I was like, no, come on. It's not gonna happen on the very last turn. Nope. Yeah, apparently it is. There, there was no tiles I could work to get it done. I mean, the problem is I don't need the fail gold. I need, I need to be able to build spies is what I need. Ugh, that's really bad. That's gonna be, that is a major setback. Because now we have to limp our way to um, alphabet. Ugh. Well, that's what happens. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Um, we have pyramids, so we can certainly get there, but it's uh, it's going to be a bit trickier. I'm going to have to run a lot of scientist specialists. So, so it is. Can't build every wonder. Okay. Well, I am very disappointed, but you do not always get each wonder that you want. Alright, um, I think I will actually finish this stupid... No... The library is what we want. I don't want the chariot. I'm just gonna clear it from the build queue so it'll stop popping up. Who was it that built it anyway? It was uh, Wina Kopak. Dang it. One turn. That is very sad. Well. Should have started, you know, if I started it one turn sooner, I would have had it. That's, uh, that's my bad. Well, as I said, we will uh, limp our way to... In fact, we should probably stop researching meditation at all. Well, 400 turns to get it at this point. <laughs> I mean, it drops when we start working specialists. Um, So, yeah, once this, I can work a specialist there starting next turn. I can start working, I have a library done here. So, it's 24 beakers between the two of them. So, that'll help. And then here. Yeesh. Sure would have been nice to have uh, finished that tech, though. All right, well, we'll need to get a, this, this increases the priority of needing to get libraries, though. Sydney Barks will have to with the library, and then we need the granary here first, but then we can go library. We need to get to alphabet so we can actually steal text with spies. All right, so we need the library then. I mean, we're gonna get a bunch of fail gold, but. All right, so here, we'll work that tile. I guess we also will get a could get a great, could great spy it as well. I don't know why we got a pop up for that. I guess because we had revealed the city. I guess. Okay, so I'm not. I need to make sure I'm using these tiles. Yeah, these tiles are all not getting worked right now. I can grow onto that next turn. Just need that city to grow quickly. All right, similarly here, now we can pull off some of these tiles. And... All right, so now it's down to 13, so yeah. So like, it's not crazy or anything. Um, now you need to come to the east and help out this new city get started. 
I don't... The game is not doomed. How in the world would the game be doomed? I mean, that was a setback, but... It's not... The game is not doomed. We're perfectly fine. Okay. Alright, now we can start running the espionage slider. Because we are, by variant rule, not allowed to research. There's nothing in the game that actually stops us. Just it's our self-imposed rule. Alright. So we get that done. And you are working over there. All right, so I got that done. And so for the moment, the, ca the capital has enough tiles to work. I need to send you with uh, towards the new city so we can use two workers to get it started. I mean, a great spy would be better. Uh, we have 80% odds for a great spy. Um, and we have to think about what we want to do with the great spy. Probably, um, probably would it infiltrate one of the AIs to get the big flat uh, 3,000 espionage points. Because one of the key things in the espionage formula is total espionage points you have ever produced compared to uh, the AI. All right, so we're gonna need, um, that's probably okay for the moment. Let's start getting some tiles up for Fort Porker. So as I said, definitely a setback, but not not something that we can't overcome. I think this city's just going to build another worker afterwards, because I do need to. I, I want to chop down these. Um, I want to mine these hill tiles and use this as a city for production. But like I could chop out um, a worker, and then like there's need for more worker labor over here too. Pakal seems like the key target for tech stealing, definitely. He's close, and we have the same religion. All right, so five turn worker. We can speed that up with a chop too. Chop this tile. All right, so we got a great spy. So as I said, I do think that Pakal is probably the best target. Oh, we need a name for this city too. We also need a defender for over here. But, uh, pick up pick up Palooza after it does these workers. We should be able to. And as much as I would normally want to work that gold tile, I want to keep growing here. We are working all the cottages, right? No, we have one that's not being worked, but there we go. Now it's being worked. <laughs> he probably oracle metal casting indeed. He probably did. It's always a high priority tech for him. All right, so now let's equalize the spending on everyone, just for the time being. Name it Fail Gold Blues, yes. <laughs> Fail Gold Blues, oh my God, I love it. Fail Gold Blues. <laughs> So now this city is going to need to farm most of its floodplain tiles because it's low. It's a low food city. Uh, I'll connect the cows first, but we're going to need that. All right. So let's walk through what you can do with um, with a great spy. Just for those who haven't seen this, so you can run as a super specialist. Six beakers, 12 espionage. I mean, that's not the worst option, but it's a good long-term play, but I don't think it's what we want for the very first spy specialist. Um, you also have Scotland Yard, doubles all espionage spending. Um, so that's pretty nice too. Uh, but then you have this infiltrate. Uh, it is 3,000 flat espionage points. Scotland Yard is good long-term, I agree. It's basically the academy version of espionage. But I think what we want to do is I think we want to infiltrate, um, and we probably want to do so with Pakal because that will give us 3,000 espionage points, and that'll make it easy to steal stuff from him. Uh, it'll also make everything cheaper because, as I said, one of the big things is total espionage points you've ever produced is one of the big things that determines um, how much it would cost. So like we would gain knowledge on any of his cities. So I think I'm gonna move him over there and start working on that. It'll take a little while, but. Oh, and while I'm here, I should get visibility on his third city. All right, 
so swine time is growing. Got another worker under production here. As soon as the capital, I really want to be able to work the scientists in the capital too. We're not quite there yet. Uh, are there other wonders I want to target in the immediate future? I don't want Temple of Artemis, that's a low priority. I do want, um, excuse me, I do want to be able to get um, Great Library, that's a very high priority, and, nas and uh, National Epic. Heroic Epic, we don't have a unit that qualifies. These wonders, maybe not so much. I don't think Parthenon is worth the cost, but maybe if there's nothing else to build. Hanging Gardens would be nice. We'll have to keep that in mind as a possibility. But of course, we have to steal the text from someone else or research it very slowly with uh, Specialist Economy. So that does also factor in. Uh, slavery can also be tricky to use when you're in a situation like this. Kornberg, uh, I think for right now this is okay. Fort Parker is waiting to whip its granary. Sydney Barks is going to whip its library shortly. Man, it produces with the two two um, production center tile and the five production copper. It builds things very quickly. Like we should be able to two pop whip that shortly. Also need to finish building this road through here, but all right. So you were going to chop that for the other second worker. you guys are there, I'll have your road. Okay, so I wanted to get visibility on this city, because we know there's a city up here somewhere. All right, actually, no, is there? Maybe I'm wrong. We'll defog that regardless. All right, so they finished that cottage, good. All right, so yeah, note that now that we're running the espionage slider, note that the spy numbers are going down. Lower is better here. Uh, over 100% is not ideal, but below 100% is good. Still, Pakal has still spent more against us than we've spent against him the whole game. You can see that if you go to the diplomacy screen. So if I look at, wait, can I see how much they've spent against me here? No, it's, uh, never mind. it's when you hover. 40 to 66 with Lincoln. Uh, all right, I have a 66, so. So I've spent outspent him 60 to 40 uh, here. I've outspent Sitting Bull 99 to 2, apparently. J-Man has outspent me. He spent 112. Bacall I've outspent. And Wynakopak I've narrowly outspent. He has apparently been running the slider a lot, though, Wynakopak, because the 112% means he's generated more espionage than me throughout the whole game. There's a great article on Sith Fanatics that goes through all the mechanics of the espionage stuff. Um, I'll have to link it at some point. Okay, Lincoln converting to a different religion is not great. I was kind of hoping that maybe he wouldn't pick that up. This is unfortunate that J-Man has a different religion than... But uh, Lincoln, at least for the moment, we're still on good terms. I'm obviously not in a position to fight anyone right now. Okay, good. So you can two-pop with that. Uh, we'll do it in another turn or two. All right, so now that I scouted out Portugal, now we'll head east and find the Incas. These AIs might close borders with me down the road, so I want to get them scouted out now. All right, did Swine Time grow? Yes, it did. Okay. I think I'd rather work that and get the library done faster and grow. I guess the growth is the same time. I think I'd rather work that tile. Uh, right now, I'm just letting the Swine Time grow. Uh, I do want to get more cities out, though. I kind of paused expansion here for a, a minute, but I want to... I want to continue expanding. Um, I also need to get more military out, and I need to get more units because I still have a paper military right now. Pigapalooza is supposed to be working on that. Uh, Kornberg can produce something, though, because this city is done with its whip cycle. Um, what would be most useful to get from here? Another worker? Another settler? Because Pigapalooza pretty much just needs to 
get a barracks and train some military after this. I'm not feeling especially safe right now. And it's going to have to build spies too once we finish alphabet, because you have to build the spies as well as everything else and move them to the target. Oh, here we go. They, so he settled here. Okay. Uh, what are we in terms of break even? All right. I mean, we're at like 50, 40%. So we can probably support another city. Maybe we maybe we just grab a city, grab this city here. Or actually we might want to grab this one here to make sure that Bacal doesn't get any further. And like I said, I need to get like a chariot over here to scout how, how close America's getting. And this will be the last region we settle down here because I don't see the AI getting into that area in the immediate future. Yeah, maybe we maybe we three-pop with a settler. Although I'll have to pull spe scientist specialists off but while I'm doing that. But that's okay. The capital is going to finish the library and it'll run some scientist specialists as soon as they can as soon as that happens. So that should be okay. Also Sydney, yeah, Sydney can now finish its library and then uh it can grow to the point where it works the scientist specialists. And this city is ready to whip in a turn or two. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. So this city has plenty of headroom to grow. It actually doesn't have that much food. Um, you know, it might be better if this city had more farms in it, but there's not an easy way to get irrigation here because the pigs kind of block irrigation. Let me zoom out for a second. Maybe we can run irrigation around this way to the, like through these, some of these tiles. Although we'd have to, we don't have borders down here. So it's something for down the road. Um, but the production here is pretty good. So why don't we build a barracks here and we can use this to train some, we'll use this to train spies down the road because it's so close to Pakal. But for right now, let's get a barracks and maybe we can get, get a few units that are not um, like cardboard cutouts. <laughs> All right, so that'll complete a worker here. And then I, like I said, I want to get a barracks and some actual defenders. And Kornberg, you're fine for right now. Um, but we are gonna get, a, we are gonna produce a settler and triple whip it shortly. Although you're so close to this side, maybe we found this city for you. Maybe. Kind of a weak spot. Um, pretty weak spot for spring. I feel no. Philgo Blues needs to pop its borders so that then this city can use the floodplains tiles. So a city coming out of Kornberg probably would need to go to a different location. All right. So we've got. You can see now that we've been running the espionage slider for a few turns, the percentages are dropping with everyone. Uh, we'll probably be able to see people see people's research pretty soon. Uh, we'll want to direct it all against whoever we're stealing pretty soonish. I think if I can see everybody's demos, which I believe I can now, let's start running it against um, Pakal, because he's going to be our main theft target. We'll just start running against our unlucky neighbor. All right, now do I farm? I think I farm the floodplains tile first, even though it seems weird not to improve the resource tile. I think I, it's more important to get the extra food here. And then uh, that's four food, and then that's plus five food with that. I think that's actually where, how we start here. All right. Do we need one more turn here to... No. Uh, it's slightly longer. It's true, we could go further west here. It's true. That might not be bad. Kind of like the idea of locking down the eastern border, though. Although, that's a lot of transit time. I don't know. This is where I should have more knowledge out there. Um, having a scouting unit of some kind would be really good. All right, maybe you build a chariot real quickly for us. 
go to chariot in two turns, so why don't you do that? Actually, do the, the barracks, it's only three turns. And this way, we it, we have big overflow, so let's use the uh, organized religion bonus for that. Great scientist. I'll have you help out. Keep these two workers paired up. There's a resource we haven't seen yet, Bryce. Oh, here comes another missionary. Sure does like his missionaries. Alright, now we'll whip the granary. That's a good time to do it. Let's finish this road to connect this. Alright. Uh, I'll let you... Uh, that whip duration wear out? Yeah, okay. Since the whip duration wore out... Oof. This is a bit rough. There's so little production. It's gonna take couple turns just to start the settler. That's okay. Or to three pop with the settler, it'll take a couple turns because it's very slow. That's all right though. All right, so now you're gonna move on to this tile. And then as soon as the library is done, we'll see if we can run some scientist specialists. Once I actually have alphabet, um, I won't need to run as many scientist specialists because I can just, I can finally start stealing text from the AI once that happens. The granary is done, now the city's gonna grow very quickly. So we definitely need the library here, both to pop the borders and so we can run some specialists. And uh, don't forget, once we have courthouses available, we can run the best specialist for this game, the spy specialist, the best specialist for this variant. It's beakers and espionage at the same time. Um, <laughs> Kind of amusing because we normally fire spy specialists whenever they show up. All right. So we're halfway there on alphabet. We said just limping, limping along to the tech, but we'll get there. We're making progress. We are getting there. All right. So good. Picked up this. Uh, we are one. We're like one production short. So let's just finish the library, and then we can run the scientists here. So look, I can't even whip the settler because we only got six food hammers into it. All right, meanwhile though, our spot, our espionage on Pakala has been going up by a pretty good margin. We uh, almost have city visibility on him. We're about to have that and more as soon as we drop this great, uh, great spy in. Okay, so now we can work, uh, let's see. So I can just do this. Uh, there's not anything I really need to build immediately here. I do want the city to, well, I was gonna say I want the city to grow, but let's do, do this. I hate not using these tiles, but for the moment, I think that's the right decision. What I would want to build is, um, like a courthouse would be nice, but that's not available. Uh, let's build a unit then. I don't want to build, I was going to say I don't want to build a worker. Because I want to keep growing. So no, not a worker or a settler right this minute. Um, a unit then. I have a chariot that's going to go out to scout coming out of the city over there. Um... We sit on barracks for right now? It doesn't feel very good. Because I don't think, that, well, I guess for lack of better options. All right. So we have, there's one of the cities we haven't investigated yet, but we'll find it sooner or later. All right, so let's go ahead. Infiltrate player city. So note that right now we have 20, set, what is it? 271 espionage points. All right, so now we should have 3,000 against him. Yeah, 3,000. No, look at the percentages, by the way. Now 59, 58, 62, because we generated all those espionage points. All right, so now it is very easy to steal text from Pakal. Also, we can 
get to know him very well here. So he's researching ironworking. And look at all the stuff. So he built Stonehenge earlier. He's running 20% on the espionage slider. Like a moron. Probably because he sees that we've got all these points against him and he's going to try to um, bounce back against that. Alright, so now we just need to finish Alphabet so we can build actual spies and then we can start lifting text from him. And uh, we're going to be good friends in this game. Very good friends. Stonehenge will get him a shrine eventually. It's true. Okay, so... I think we just keep cottaging these floodplains here. Although Sydney Barks is probably going to need... Ah, oh, Sydney, why are you working that tile? Um... Sydney Barks is probably going to need more improved tiles over Fort Porker. Let's do this one while we're here. Alright, we got that one in, uh, finished. Okay, so change that to there. This city is not going to work a ton of specialists long term. This is our military city. I'd much rather be working these hill tiles, but for right now I need to get to Alphabet. Once I get to Alphabet it's not that bad, as I said I can start stealing text, particularly from this guy, um, but eventually from everybody. And Code of Laws is really big too because then we'll start getting the passive courthouse espionage. And I can run uh, the best specialist, spy specialist. All right. Meanwhile over here, let's get that settler done. And we got to grow this back to uh, let this regrow to size four, and then we'll pick up the scientists again. All right, now that that's done, get me that chariot. All right, so you, um, how about you build me some military over here? How about some actual units, some actual defenders to start? Uh, and that settler that just came out, I don't think I'm in a position right now to support a city over here. I think I have to move it somewhere to the east, even though it's a long transit time, which is not as efficient as it should be. I guess that's not too bad. We'll send it there. There's a sitting bull set, uh, settler on the way. Okay, so finish that. Wina Kopak has to be around here somewhere, up there in the north. We'll mine this tile. We might as well road that while we're here, and then we can get back to the... and improve this tile next. This city's still undefended, of course. Not ideal. Hey, we actually got a fair amount of overflow into the lighthouse, so that's pretty, that's pretty good. I'll take that. And we can see what everybody's re researching, except Sitting Bull. I guess he just finished the tech. Let's keep going until we can at least... Um, <laughs> the monodirectional tech trade. Let's keep going until we can steal our first tech from the AI. Chichen Itza. I might even build a road down the Chichen Itza so I can steal techs more quickly. So he's got a settler there. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I love being able to see what the heck this guy's building. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I want to control this area right here. I don't care if he dumps a city right here where there's no resources at all, but let's lock this down, control everything west of this peak tile. And Pakal's pretty happy with us, so. I think everyone else is cautious, except why Kopak's annoyed, but whatever. He can, he can suck it. <laughs> Once we have Alphabet, we'll be able to see what text everyone has, and we can see who we want to target for thefts. Okay, so if I move here, here... Temple of Artemis finished. Nice. Free Christianity spread. I mean, I haven't done anything to spread this religion, and it's in most of my cities. Uh, I was able to get a free road there. If I tried to move to the cows, since I don't have construction, I wouldn't be able to move there. And this scout from the beginning of the game has done a great job of defogging the map. All right, so that's the new city that 
Sitting Bull just tossed down. All right, Swine Time just grew. That looks good for the moment. Uh, I will probably whip this city. As soon as we have Alphabet, I'm probably whipping this city for something. All right, so we just hit size two. There we go, back onto the... Yeah, so now we're three turns away. And we can start lifting some techs. Port Porker, yeah, Port Porker will be able to build this library. It actually needs to be a three pop whip right now, which is unfortunate. Um, maybe I'll work this tile for a couple turns so that it... Oh, the nice thing is we got that culture spread, so now it'll pop the borders automatically. But yeah, I might work this tile for a couple turns so we can get it down to a two pop whip. Although I should work the cottage over that, never mind. We'll see. Go ahead and set up the Ivory Moai City. Uh, I already have the settler moving down here, but yeah, we that's that's one of the next ones we will go to. This city needs to pop its borders. As soon as it pops its borders, I can grab this spot. I probably should get a missionary for that. That would be better than the barracks here, honestly. Get this, and let's get some actual production. Um, I don't want to drop one of these cottages. As soon as we finish Alphabet, I can fire some of these scientist specialists. And um, and then I can finish this missionary for Go Go Blues. It looks like there's a, a Wynakopek missionary on its way. I would happily get rid of... Happily prefer not to have that religion, but... Oh well. Only two turns now. So we want to get some actual units. So let's get an archer for the west, that city in the west. And then we want to build at least a few axes here. Can I fire these? Alright, I can still get alphabet in two turns. So let's do this. There we go. I get that missionary out faster. Alright, you. Oh, hey. Christian. Okay, never mind. Maybe we don't need... I guess I'll still build the missionary for Kornberg, but... So, so much for that. Now maybe this guy will fail his uh, Hinduism spread uh, dice roll. All right, yeah. So you need to go over here. You're my new eyes on the uh, Americans. I need to know how close they are to know how much I need to push expansion over there. Uh, all right, so we need to get another tile improved at Sydney. Sydney Barb. Still don't feel like the cottage is the right tile here, but as I said, I don't really have a way to get irrigation over there. Hmm, there's more space up here than I expected between Portugal and uh, Inca. I mean, we've gotten more than our share of our part of the world, and hopefully we can get even more in the West. That'll be probably the focus of the next uh, session. All right. Oh, wait, no, Alphabet's down to three turns again. Okay. There we go. Two turns. Okay, so I'm definitely going to fire these scientists as soon as I'm done. So we want to we want to mine another tile, I think. Yeah, we want to mine another tile here, I think. And then probably farm some of these tiles, too. I bet there's no wonder I can uh, toss down to put these chops into. But yeah, let's get this. Ah, we've already moved. And then these workers can slide down here to support this new city. We mostly just need to farm a floodplains tile to get it started. Yeah, they can head down there. Building a road to trade with the neighbor. I mean, it's a type of trade, I suppose. We're trading in knowledge. <laughs> trading in knowledge of a kind. All right. Again, what I actually want to build here is a spy. So I uh, would put this city on wealth for a turn, but we can't do that, so uh, just I think it turn into an archer or something, I don't know. These other options are not that useful. I'm not really going to work water tiles here, so the lighthouse is low priority. Although I'm organized, the lighthouse is very cheap, so I forgot that it's very inexpensive for us to build that. Uh, Alright, you are going to come down and be the defender for the new city. Fort Porker, this is what I want, I want you. 
building this uh, here. We gotta run gold for a little bit. We're about out. Uh, so you're gonna chop. And this city is okay for right now. Why don't you come down here and support this new city along with these workers? out there. So it looks like mathematics is a very popular research right now. We're finally going to get alphabet complete. Looking forward to that. Then uh, we'll have to think about what we want to steal and what we want to tech after that. So this will let us see what techs everybody has. And think about what name this is going to be soon, too. Um, I think someone's going to build the Great Lighthouse, honestly. Um, I could be wrong, but I, I'm expecting someone to build. Although I guess no one, no one's really on the coast, are they? All the AIs are not on the coast. Maybe it is worth making a play for it. So there's a city right here that they put down. Yeah, maybe. Cornbird, Sydney Barks. Cornberg. We have a lot of forests to chop at Cornberg. We could probably chop them into a great lighthouse. That would probably be worthwhile. Alright, so we finally get Alphabet. Words have the power to both destroy and heal. When words are both true and kind, they can change our world. Alright. Now I have to think about what to... I need to look at what text the AIs have. And then decide what to steal. Okay. So let, let's, let me play through the turn normally, and then we'll go from there. Cornberg picks up Hinduism, great. Alright, so this is a good start to this town. And then we will get the free border expansion onto the floodplains. So that's, yeah, I mean, this is not like a, an amazing city, but it, it'll be worth, certainly worth having. can move here, and then we'll find that next turn. And you can start farming there next turn. Okay, so let's see what text the AI has. In particular, I'm interested in what text um, Pakal has. All right, so he has monarchy up on us. Apparently that's the only thing he has up on us right now. Um, J-Man actually is like the tech leader, which is kind of annoying. Maybe I should start, maybe I should start, I really would like to get Code of Laws. Uh, probably we'll research Code of Laws normally. That's probably the one that we, just because this is we're guaranteed to get. Uh, all right, so what else would we want? Monarchy would be nice for sure. Iron working, so we can see iron. Math, but not a lot of people have math yet. What is um, Pakal? Pakal's about to have iron working, so that would certainly be handy. You are now going to build a spy. To start heading for Chichen Itza. You are also going to build a spy for me, because I'm going to need multiple spies. So they have to move over there, and then they have to stand in the city for X number of turns. Yeah, so we can look, it looks like hereditary, it looks like monarchy and, and ironworking are probably the first steals. Wine Kopak does indeed appear to have oracle metal casting, to no surprise. So I think that that's the initial play there. Uh, Code of Laws, we, since we want Code of Laws for sure, I think that we just research that ourselves. And I do want to get that missionary. Um, let's see, what else do we want? So I also want to make sure that I'm still making use of slavery cycles. Now that we have this tech, uh, I think we three pop whip a settler out of here. We can overflow to finish the Christian missionary. Yeah, I think that, that I think we'll do that. Fort Porker needs to whip its, oh, okay. So we can whip the library for, already down to two pop that's good 
Uh, I wouldn't mind letting this whip duration run a little bit lower, though. Uh, the settler from the capital will either go to the west, depending on what we find here, or it can go um, to the ivory spot, which also wouldn't be bad. But we might want to get a move on to the west. Uh, maybe we grab this spot because the borders are going to pop here shortly. But like by the time the settler gets up here and found it, we should be able to, those tiles should be available. So we got that, and now I've said I said I want to spy as well. We'll uh, take a, a scientist off here. If I take both of them off, can I? All right, I can get the spy down to two turns, so I'm going to do that. Also, I'm going to get some great people soon too. So like here at the capital, come on game. Can I highlight the interface? It's not. It's not showing me what the percentages are. There's no tooltip popping up. That's weird. All right, so this is intended for that city over there. All right, you guys need to road this. We're not declaring war, we're just moving on to that tile. We'll finish the spy. Okay, and then you need to move there. All right, so that'll get a spy moving. Unfortunately, spies are pretty slow. Black Forest Ham for this one. It's a pretty good suggestion. So many pig puns. Black Forest. All right, so another city just getting started out. Farm that, and then these workers need to come down to support. Okay, Porker, Fort Porker is all out of good tiles, so I'll just whip it here. Gonna get a fair amount of overflow. It's good. And uh, I think I'll just stuff in some scientist specialists. I want it to be working these four tiles, and then any extra growth that can go into scientists. I'm not exactly sure what it, the next thing we build is. I would say a worker, but I want the city to keep growing for right now. Alright, so how far away are you? Oh, the Americans aren't far away at all, are they? Maybe the swine time settler goes down here to stake our claim to this. If we make sure we get one more city over here. And then try to push for a city there, perhaps. So yeah, Coat of Walls will be delayed by this, but um, it's fine. Yeah, overflow to the missionary. All right, so as far as this city goes, we want to chop this. I'm going to farm this because this area is just low food in general, so I don't think it's good for cottages. Yeah, so we probably need to push this settler over here just so we have another... We can grab something over here. I don't know where the ideal spot is. Like, there's two floodplains tiles here. There's also this cow resource. Like maybe over here. Let's see how close their city is. I also wouldn't mind grabbing this resource cluster here either. Although, they could already be down there for all we know. Anyway. We've still uh, definitely done a good job of getting our share, our fair share of the terrain in this game. Like, I've got this whole area here. I mean, I have room for a city here. I've got room for three or four cities down in the deep south. So. All right, so there's the spy. We're going to need a... I want a defender for over there, so let's get an archer out. All right, library, so we will grow onto specialists, scientist specialists. Um... What I really want to build is a courthouse here, but I don't have that unlocked tech-wise yet. So we have to hold off on that. And this city doesn't have much production anyway. I guess we'll just stick it on barracks for right now. No, we probably should build... Uh, yeah, I guess so. It's not really what we want, but... Christianity is 
is spread him down Phil. Okay. Oh, hello Lincoln. Settler on the way. <laughs> we could declare war and uh no. I am in zero position to fight a war against Lincoln. Okay, so he has been expanding pretty decently. So it looks like this settler is going to be just in time to grab something. Yeah, we're only cautious over there. The city Field Gold Blues has no, um, no production at all right now. Or no defender at all, excuse me. So here's the thing about spies. They have commandos, so they can use enemy roads, but they only have one movement, so they're pretty slow. This chop will finish the granary and then we can farm the tile. Okay, so Kornberg is running double scientist specialist. The capital, after just completing that whip, is regrowing. That's what it needs to do for the moment. But we'll add more specialists in the near in the near future. All right, Fort Porker is going to grow onto a scientist. You do not need to be working these tiles. How about you do this instead? Oh, but that makes you stagnant on growth. Well, that's better than nothing. That's at least something. You kind of need a lot of food in order to work the... Uh, you kind of need a, a fair bit of food in order to work the specialist, don't you? Only higher food cities can kind of do that. Okay, so I will say yes to this because it gives me a plus modifier and then I'll just cancel the deal afterwards. Okay, let's start getting some actual units here so that if we would, well, I guess there's time for a worker. <laughs> I was going to say, so if there would be a fight, we're prepared. Alright. You... Or maybe not the best city to try Great Lighthouse. 200 turns. Um, we'll set it here for the time being, and I need to get workers over to chop if that's going to be happening. All right, so he kind of took the spot I was looking for. He got these floodplains. I don't really want to try to cram a city in. It's a little disappointing that he got there slightly before me. I was like two turns away from grabbing that area. Yeah, that's a bit of a disappointment. I guess we go to the, for the northern coast then. Yeah, he's already pretty well established over here. As you would expect, we're like 100 turns into the game on Emperor. And I certainly focused expansion in the other direction first. Okay, so we'll go for the northern coastal spot then. Yeah, I wish I'd been a few turns faster. Like, I would have liked to have had like a city right here. Like one fewer for him, one more for me. One, two, three, four, five. He only has six cities. I mean, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got seven plus one settler on the way. All right, well, we'll head up there. Grab that spot. Here comes the spies, very slowly. This is why we probably will need to build a road towards um, <laughs> towards Pakal, and this is going over here to the west too. All right, road. At turn 100, could we do a recap? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, so we finished the granary, that's nice. And we probably need a library after that because need to run those scientist specialists. All right, so Porker is running one scientist. It's about to grow and can run a second scientist after that. Also about to pop borders. So a number of people on, let's see what, so um, 
Let's see, so right now, Monarchy, Ironworking are out there and are pretty well known. Math is also starting to be picked up by more people. What's the reason behind going for the northern spot? Um, because it, it it's much easier to get going. There's actual food here. This spot would be very would be unsupported by the rest of my territory. Also, it might already be claimed. I'm gonna scout down here, and if it's not claimed, that's where the next settler will go. But like this is uh, way out away from the rest of my territory. It's not well supported. This you can get away with against the AI, um, but this would be really stupid against uh, another human player. So to st put a city down there, but still, yeah, that's that's probably where the next one goes because this is a safe spot. Like, the, the cities down here would be safe to grab. Like, we'll want a city here eventually to make use of the sheep tile. It'll be a bad, a weak city, but we'll want it. A city down here will be, a, like, a junk city, but... Um, a lot of these spots down here also need civil service, so we can farm spread irrigation. So, like, waiting to settle a lot, a lot of these until we have uh, civil service makes sense. But there's room for them down there. Alright, so we got the granary. Finish building that farm next. Okay, so let's hope we don't fail the 90% dice roll to spread the religion. All right, so we finished the Christian missionary. Call's gonna get his shrine here. We are slowly making progress on Code of Laws. What's the fastest? Oh, the, and Pakal put down a city right there. Okay, well, I'm glad I grabbed Black Forest Ham. He put down a resourceless city. Like, what's the fastest way to get there? In that case, since we're roading towards this spot, let's we'll road there. I'm definitely going to need to build a road up to his city because these spies are very slow. That's why you need multiple spies, because you need one sitting, you need one like sitting in a city waiting to um, steal a tech, and then others rotating in afterwards. All right, let's see if we can spot if there's a city down here in this resource cluster. Uh, at this point, Kornberg should probably repop with another settler. I think that's the best thing we can do here. And then maybe this one goes to that spot. It would be a reach, which you never know. Make the AI beat you. Fort Porker can also whip something soon. Probably two pop whip a worker. Oh, we just whipped something. Never mind. It just grows so freaking fast. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Um, and we should probably turn on the espionage slider again. Why not? All right. We did succeed on the 90% dice roll. Yeah, so Pakal did build a shrine. All right, so we need a name for the um, northern city, northern coastal spot. My Little Eye, that doesn't seem like it. That's kind of a weird name. I don't know what this, since I can't pronounce this, I'm not going to go with it. Gruber Coast works for me. Light Switch Rave. What? I don't understand Light Switch Rave. I don't really understand Gruber Coast either, but sure, why not? <laughs> Alright, so again, this city needs the um, it needs the floodplains tiles to be effective, but the good news is it'll have them in uh, three turns. And then you, I'll put you on a go-to order there. So that's not a very strong spot now, but it'll be a solid city in the long run. And then Kornberg is probably going to get that... All right, so let's see. It looks like there's not a city there right now. Oh, it was in memory of the stream flicker. Okay. See, that didn't happen to me, so <laughs> you can understand why uh, I wasn't really thinking about it. All right, so this spy has almost made it to Mayan territory. All 
Black Forest Ham is very slowly still getting that first, um, first tile expansion. All right, so we've almost got the spy done here. And I wish I had need to need to irrigate over here. I I want to make sure I irrigate here, here, here. Get some more food into Sydney Barks. Cottages are really not the correct tile improvement there. All right, here we can run another scientist specialist. All right, so Code of Law is down to eight turns. And Pigopolis, I think I'll run double scientist here as well. Also, we're about to get a great person out of the capital shortly. And Kornberg as well. Kornberg is 100% great. I wish I could see the percentages. I don't know why the game's wigging out like that. Uh, in terms of spies, what would we take first? Maybe monarchy? Because I do have wines that haven't been connected yet. I think I would take math if it was an option. Yeah, I think math would be, I would take if I had a choice. I think my next research is aesthetics because no one has gone for aesthetics yet. And uh, I'd like to get literature for Great Library. Great Library would be really nice. And uh, and National Epic in the capital. I have a lot of great person generation in the capital. So like I would probably research aesthetics literature. Long term, I have to push for constitution and democracy because constitution gives me jails, vastly important for stealing. And uh, democracy's got the security bureaus. So, oh, Pakal's about to get math. Okay, you're right, he's researching it. Thank you. Wait, how are we only number four? I guess we haven't expanded borders everywhere yet. Lincoln is apparently listed as largest. I wonder how largest, I think that that's the size of your borders, but I'm not certain on that. Okay. We'll run this for the time being because we want to, um, we should do this. I'll stagnate. I'd like to get to Code of Law so I can build courthouses. All right, uh, I actually need another spy because it takes so long for the end to cycle through. Okay, so let's pull these two and have them chop and see if we can get this great light playhouse. Um, so if we steal math, each chops 30, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that just bulldoze the forest and we have it. So let's have these workers try to do that. It's worth a shot. The AI capitals don't appear to be on the water, so. And we have a, enough water cities that it's worthwhile. There's Cuzco. Yeah, like Tiwanaku probably is not building the Great Lighthouse. Actually, it doesn't even have a lighthouse in the city center yet, so it can't be building it. All right. Yeah, this area appears to be empty, so let's use this settler from Kornberg to go grab that spot. As we whip off the scientists yet again. What would a great scientist research right now? What is the next tech? I know that alphabet is usually... Um, does anyone know what the next tech that a great scientist would research would be? I'm not sure off the top of my head. I'm sure someone's aware. Here, the city is about to pop quarters in. Okay. We'll road this while we're waiting for the borders to expand. All right, here comes our other spy. Slowly moving over here. Go spies, go. One movement per turn. Well, we'll finish this, but you can uh, continue roading towards for future spying efforts. I guess we have to turn off espionage again for a few turns. I think three spies will be enough for the time being, at least right up until they start getting caught. So we will have to think about if we want to start running against someone other than Pakal in order to make it easier to, like if there's another tech that we want to steal from somebody. Uh, he doesn't, he has all, he pretty much has all that we want right now. We want math first, then probably ironworking, then probably monarchy. Then we'll see from there. So I think for now we're fine to keep spending on Pakal. 
So it is turn 101. If you want the overview of this game thus far, we were fortunate enough to have really, really strong lands, uh, an amazing capital with resources, with um, wonder building resources galore. Um, and we spread out, expanded to the east, and we built the Great Wall so that we got an early Great Spy, which is really important for this variant. And then we built the pyramids, and we came up one turn short on the Oracle, which was unfortunate. All right, can be canceled in seven turns. That stupid demand. I'm a little surprised that these guys are actually ahead of me in uh, score, because I feel like I'm pretty strong, but... Six cities. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's getting. He has quite so many points, but oh well. Math, aesthetics, calendar. Okay, thank you very much for that, Ragnar. That makes sense. Uh, I don't think I'd want to bulb aesthetics or math. Calendar, probably not either. We could always save them for later on like the path towards liberalism. Now, liberalism is going to be very hard to pick up without um, without being able to run the science slider. All right, yeah, so for right now, this area seems empty, so I think we're clean, good to go. You know what we probably do? We probably make a super specialist with this, like plus nine beakers per turn. That might be better. The academy's not worthwhile because we're not running the slider, but... Um, you know, this, the super specialist would not be that bad. I'll I'll wait and think about it for this turn, but like it's the light bulbs that are available right now are not very good. And the, the super specialist is a long-term play. I think the super specialist is probably the best option there. All right, let's, so we finally got this done here. Um, so we, Let's see, we have four food, five, we have... Hmm. I think this city, maybe we just farm all the tiles and run specialists here. I don't think we need uh, cottages at this city. Now this one, we can give this tile over to Fort Porker, so this one does probably get cottage. But I think we farm this, and I think we just run specialists. Or, yeah. Aesthetics gets me to great library. I mean, that's true. But, I'm, I mean, Aesthetics is not in a terribly expensive tech. It's only 400 beakers. I don't really want to burn a great scientist on that. I also have to get math first, but I'm about to... I'm getting ready to steal math from um, from Pakal. So apparently research and construction. Okay, that's a little concerning. I'm glad he's pleased towards me, but he will declare where I'm pleased, so... Um, anyway... Yeah, I think that I just farm these tiles and run specialists at Black Forest Ham. It's nice that all the AIs let me have open borders and let me just scout out their territory. I mean, I guess technically they're doing the same to me, but the AIs can never make use of that knowledge as well as a human can. Alrighty, here we go. Moving down here. This unsupported city. We're gonna have to get workers down here. This is the very definition of a reach spot. Um... But yeah, we'll try to get Great Lighthouse first. Yeah, you can chop that. We have another worker over here. But yeah, if we just chop these, each one is... Well, we have to make sure we chop them post-math. I guess we can pre-chop them first. These borders are expanding next turn. Okay. A lot of people on calendar too. Calendar is not as crucial for me in this game because I don't have too many calendar techs. So where would we put this city? Um, I guess on this tile here. I guess. Yeah. Just get this in first ring. Puts this in the second ring, but that's okay. Also, I mean, alternately you could say here for the defensive bonus, but I think one tile north is better. Are any of the AIs plotting war? Good question. No, I just don't like you enough. The only ones I care about are him and Pakal. Yeah, they're the only ones I care about. The others are so far away, they're not, they're not going to attack me. 
or very unlikely that they would attack me. Oh, he has a lot of cities. No wonder his score is so high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He has nine cities. Okay. Sitting Bull, not not a joke in this game. Lincoln, I don't quite know because he only has seven cities. Interesting. Anyway, so yeah, that fair. So hopefully we'll have Code of Law soon, and we can get the courthouses in play for a lot more espionage, just like that constant ticking each turn. I mean, we're getting relatively close. All right. Built the lighthouse. There wasn't much need for the, <laughs> the lighthouse. Um, as I said, probably we just want some more actual units here. Or do we want another, maybe another worker? No, I've got the barracks here. I should train at least something. Uh, we'll do the worker because Code of Law, it'll finish right around when we get Code of Laws. All right, so you are moving to this city here. You are almost finally into Kalak Mool. Right, Lincoln is not running that religion, so he will not get a free border pop from that. And I will have to send units to protect this city. For the time being, I'm okay. Lincoln is one of the most peaceful leaders in the game, but I mean, that doesn't mean he'll never declare war. He will sometimes. All right, so now... Gruber Coast actually has a tile to work. That's not garbage. All right, Gale Gold Blue can get that library. And then we'll grow and work some scientists. That's the top of the map there. Okay, chop. What would be most useful tile to chop? Uh, probably this one. Just make sure it's assigned to Kornberg, which it is. Yeah, the Native Americans have taken it. I think the na reason why the Native Americans are larger is they've taken advantage of the fact that Pakal has not really expanded in this game. Look at how he's gotten boxed in by the two of us. He's going to be stuck at about six or seven cities, whereas I should easily have probably around 15. All right, the spies are almost in position to start doing stuff. Now this city, all right, it's just working specialist right now. I could actually afford to work a spy specialist too once I get a courthouse. Anywhere else that can work specialist, because I would like to get this tech finished. I'm working scientists in a lot of cities. Here, the capital can. There we go. Four turns. Kornberg is regrowing, but I'll stuff into Scientist next turn here as well. I actually have 50 beakers per turn with 0% science. It's not bad. So there is a slight turn. Every time your spy is in enemy territory, there's a slight chance it'll get caught. So the archer, we're going to send, build an archer and send it to that city on the south, extreme southeast. All right, here, we want a courthouse, but we can't build courthouses yet, so. Oh, I actually forgot I can do this. I actually forgot I could build research. That would actually be, I forgot that I, that's the other thing you can do. Yeah, let's do this. Help build research. Although it's just two turns to Code of Laws, so speeding it up is not going to help. Or actually, no, it's down to two turns. I forgot that I could do that. <laughs> Probably should have remembered that. Oh, hey, Lincoln's on board with Team... Yay, Lincoln's on board Team Christianity. Now he uh, he won't declare where it pleased, so we're safe with him. Okay, that means I don't need to cram a ton of units down here now. sneak this one right under his nose. Trying to both scout this and get ready to perform spying. All right, so now we finally have a spy in position. I'm building the road so that future spies will not have to sit, spend as much time on this path. And this one needs to start heading on that same route. 
Let's queue this up ahead of time. If they succeed in their mission and are not caught, they do survive and come back again. So I don't need to, hopefully I won't have to build too many. All right, two turns now on the spies. And you can keep growing for right now. Yeah, I'd actually like you to regrow and then after you've grown a bit, I can stuff in the, the specialist. All right, you guys are building that there. Now, the one thing that's missing is I don't have a specialist. I don't have workers right now for this. Um, my workers that are chopping for Great Lighthouse are kind of the ones who should be down there. But I can get something from one of these cities. Uh, the capital can flip to a worker next turn and then two pop with it. And that will get me at least one. Uh, this city, no, Field Blue Blues just whipped, so. Yeah, the capital can get a worker out and then overflow into the courthouse. A whole bunch of these cities are about to uh, build courthouses. We could get a worker here too. Uh, let's do that next turn when Code of Walls is just about finished. And then, um, yeah. And then we'll look to eventually get this spot that we've been delaying and then look to settle the south. Places that, as mentioned, we kind of need um, irrigation for some of these to be productive, but they'll be useful in time. All right. Worker. A little two pop with that. Oh yeah, and we never used this. We should we should use this. We said super specialist, so let's do it. Should have done that sooner. Just sitting there for a couple turns, not doing anything. All right, so let's talk about the espionage missions. So we can steal um, every turn that we're in enemy territory. There is a chance for that we could get caught, but if we are stationary and not moving, the odds are pretty low. I think they're under. They think they're like one percent or lower. Um, base if we're stationary and we have a big espionage advantage. So here's all the different missions. We could sabotage production, but we don't want to do that. Steal. We could steal three gold. Could do what um, Sitting Bull loves to do and poison the water supply. Could support city revolt. <laughs> this um, would cause the city to revolt for one turn. We can perform counter espionage. Add to the cost of Mayan espionage missions. That's probably not going to happen. All right, steal technology. So we can steal the techs, but we can get them much cheaper if we wait. Um, if we wait here for five turns, you can get up to minus 50%. So there is a cost based on, there's a base cost, and then it's increased for distance. You note, see the minus 38%, that's because we have a huge espionage advantage. So what we want to do is we want to sit here and wait for a couple turns. Now, if we wait for five turns, we get a 50% discount. So this will go down to something very cheap. Um, but you can see it's not a fast process. So that's why we need to have... Basically, I want two spies sitting and making them wait. Like, sitting and waiting at all points in time. Yeah, I can't cancel the marble deal just yet. I appreciate the suggestion, but I can cancel it in three turns. So I am still waiting on that. So you're just going to chill here for a few turns until we can get that cost down. Because um, there's no reason to steal if we can, unless we get that 50% discount. So I probably need about four or five spies rotating um, constantly here. But uh, it actually is much cheaper to steal than it is to research it yourself. Uh, it's actually very cheap to steal techs in this game. All right, so Kornberg got its first chop. So how much more do we need here? Oh, we don't have math yet, do we? Oh, well, too late now. But yeah, I should have waited until I had math done. I'll try to remember that for the other ones. <laughs> Gotta steal math first. The Reach, okay, The Reach is a great both uh, Song of Ice and Fire reference and also um, the fact that it's a Reach location. That's pretty good. All right. Um, let's chop. I was going to say let's chop this for the granary, but we need to road it first. The reach is good. This 
It's gonna be a very sad city until we can get some workers over here. By the way, we also are uh, running perilously low on fine. We're down to 20% break even, so we probably need to stop tossing so many cities down for the time being. This one we did need to get because otherwise um, we probably were never gonna get this spot. But uh, it is time to maybe work on shoring up our finances a little bit. Not that that's as big of a deal because like we're getting beakers from running the slider and all that jazz, but still. Uh, oh, we need to wait one turn there. All right, here though, we want a two-pot whip and overflow into. I uh, got a two-pot whip and overflow into the courthouse. I think we do. We still need to be. Yeah, we we can stay on research here for right now. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think we have much competition for Great Lighthouse because I think there's very few enemy cities that are actually on water. Okay, Tiwanaku did finish its um, lighthouse, so we can see... Uh, okay, it has nothing in the production box. How about Mound City? Let's see if that's working on the Wonder, potentially. Is it? Wait, is it Mound or Mound City? Uh, okay, only 58 production, that means there's it's not working on a Wonder. And Ooksmall doesn't have a lighthouse, so it doesn't look like there's much AIs working on this at the moment. <laughs> Here comes another Christian missionary. All right, coat of walls, finally. To bring about the rule of righteousness in the land, so that the strong should not harm the weak. So we're gonna queue up aesthetics. And we want to get these them courthouses going. All right, that's fine for right now. Courthouse. All right, another worker, which is most definitely needed. This city here, um, let's get the courthouse. We'll whip the courthouse. Yeah, look at these unimproved tiles. No, 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 no unimproved tiles. Bad, bad game. Um, how about you come down here and help out? We want to we cottage this tile. All right, finish that. All right, so Gruber Coast now has a food tile to work. Now we want to improve this tile. Uh, this city now wants to do a courthouse. Nice overflow there. So let's not chop that. I will road the tile though. I'll mine that because it'll be helpful if we're trying to finish the Great light, lighthouse. Um, the one city that's just out in the dark is the Reach. I don't have anything for the Reach right now. All right, you're gonna build your courthouse, or not Christian temple, your courthouse. So this will slow down aesthetics, but that's okay. I finally found the capital there. Yeah, at the moment I don't have a worker there. All right, so here, so now if I go to Steel Tech um, for math, see how it says minus 10% for stationary spy. So we'll just let that continue to go down. Also, the chance of success went way up. Now it's 97%. So we'll wait there for a couple more turns until we get the max bonus, which is the 50%. Where's my other spy? I know I have another spy somewhere. I have a third spy. That's uh, here it is. Oh, it's, it's under Fort Porker. That's why I couldn't see it. Under Fort Porker. Okay, oh, and Swine Time needed to whip this. There we go. All right, so here's where we're getting our workers from. Um, this worker and this worker here, these two, I'll send to the Reach to start improving it. And I also need to send a military unit of some kind down there. At least one archer. Not that an archer would do anything to stop Lincoln if he actually attacked, but we're pleased. Oh, he is? We have enough on our hands right now. That's, hmm. I, uh, I hope that that was, I hope that that was a decision made after we got to pleased and not before. He can't plot at pleased, but he could have made the decision to start before we got up to pleased. So I hope that was the case. I mean, the odds are it's 
Quina Kopek because he doesn't like Quina Kopek. He's annoyed. It's much more likely that it's that. But let's let's bring the chariot back here to make sure there's not a big army massing at uh, Chicago. Because in which case we have to start building military immediately. And the reach would be written off as a reach. Right, you finish that. Um, what's the fastest way to get over here? Okay, to head to the north and then head down. That makes sense. Kind of a weird shape to his territory there. All right, turn on espionage for a few turns. And yes, I will build the road in his territory. You can build roads in enemy territory. So we should be at 20% now. Yep, minus 20% for stationary spy. So this should be down to, oh, 270-ish by the time we're done, assuming we don't get caught, obviously. So we do have most of the map revealed, and um, we can apparently just look at the cities of Sitting Bull. It's, apparently he doesn't have much espionage spending. Alright, so now we start waiting at Duke Small, and that's why I had that other spy queued up, so that my other spy would start... Oh, here it is, right here. This spy is also on its way, so it can also start standing in a city, preparing for another steal. Alright, Fort Porker, uh, we'll whip this next turn. I guess this city is... I should be um, trying to grow this city to a higher size, although it does have an awful lot of production here. Not bad. 22 base is pretty good. All right, you're regrowing there. Um, I think I want the scientists here. Help us skedaddle along to the next tech. Yeah, so if we can pick up those three techs, math, monarchy, math, and ironworking, we're not really behind, despite our wacky variant. And now that we actually have the spies on in on route. A great merchant from his uh, lighthouse. Or not lighthouse, his... Uh, what was the tech that he picked up? Um, his, his oracle, I guess? Actually, I don't know why. I guess he was running specialist, merchant specialist. All right, we're at 30%, so a couple more turns. All right, so as we said, just get the next get the next one ready. Start queuing up the next spy. I will have to train a few more. And you're going to need a few turns and look small. Okay. I haven't spotted an army on the part of Lincoln yet. Alrighty, so Fort Porker will whip the courthouse. Move you onto this tile. Working a lot of a lot of cottageable tiles here. Um, and I'm gonna need, now I'm gonna need a road going towards Oops Mall that doesn't run through um, Mayan territory because every turn I'm in Mayan territory there's a chance to get caught. So I wanna run a road like over here. Anyway, so looks good. 
I don't want to steal that tile away yet from Fail Gold Blues, which will get its courthouse up. All right, so we're getting more courthouses done, which will actually help our economy in addition to giving us spy points. So he wants me to cancel deals with the Native Americans. I'm going to say no. I'm, he, I'm already annoyed. Yeah, I don't want to lose the open borders. He won't like it, but whatever. All right, I want some actual units here, starting with an archer, and then let's get out some axes and spears. All right, we can also cancel that resource deal, the marble that he demanded. We can just cancel that. Okay, so far I haven't seen a big Lincoln army. Uh, instead of building the road, I'm just running these units down here so that they can start improving the resources. Okay, so Gruber Coast will work these two. And it needs to pick up this floodplains tile as well so that it has enough food. But for right now, we'll work that tile. Right, I think we won't need one more turn. Yeah, we're at minus 40% right now. So, as I said, one of you goes over here along with you. Build the road over to Uxmal. So I just have another route to get over there as needed. This should be like the northeast corner of the map here. Yeah. You need a couple more turns, I know. So what are we? We're break even at 25% right now. That's fine. All right. So you were, let's see, working on the courthouse. So in two turns. Great lighthouse down to 25 turns. Okay, so we're just about ready to chop here because we'll get math hopefully on this upcoming turn. I can actually pull these workers down and chop. Uh, Gruber Coast can take a chill pill for the moment. <laughs> Uh, like if we chop this and this and this, like we chop three of these forests with math, that'll finish Great Lighthouse. So we just finished a courthouse here. Um, and now you're going to build military for the time being. Fort Porker just finished. Yeah, there we go. There's that spy specialist. Woo! Spy specialist! Um, <laughs> uh, it's working these tiles and I'll have it grow onto a scientist specialist. Yeah, that's probably, uh, the barracks is probably okay. It's not my first choice, but it's okay. Get, the, get that four beakers for espionage. Uh, this place is gonna finish its own courthouse. All right, I think that's right. Okay, now give me some actual units that don't suck in case I have to fight. All right, so we finished the courthouse. Uh, how about another spy? So we have another spy in case some of these get caught, which they probably will. And um, give me the best specialist. <laughs> spy specialist. All right, now down here, Black Forest Ham needs some more work. Um, we, should, we should chop this, which will finish the granary, and then we can two pop with the library and then I'll be able to run specialists. You are going to go on a long journey down here to the reach, which is very much a reach. All right, so we finished that road. So I want you to go somewhere you can chop. You can move there next turn. All right, you can move here. Start chopping. Oh wait, no. Oh, we need one more turn. Shoot. Uh, okay, then you go there. One tile you can actually reach. All right, let's do this. Our first tech steal. Math, 216. That's all it costs, 216. Again, it's an awful lot of work to get to this point, but 216 is nothing. And we have 90, wait, why are we down to 78%? Weren't we at 97 last turn? Well, 
if in we'll other take sciences, it. We should arrive I'll take the 80% odds. Doubt, I wonder why it went down. Without error. It behooves us to place the foundations of knowledge in mathematics. Maybe it's because I had two spies on the same tile. Maybe it got confused because I had two spies on this. Yeah, maybe because there were two on there. Anyway, so now we have potential construction option two, which would be nice. But anyway, you can rest. So we need to continue, continue putting more espionage points. Now we have 3,500 points and we're getting 18 per turn with him. But um, so we're getting like 45 per turn. But you can see how that initial, and at 100% we get minus a gazillion. But you can see how that initial great spy was so important, so we could get the big reservoir of spy points to draw on. So that's what we have to work with going forward. So we got our first tech map. So you can chop here next turn, and you'll chop that, and then you can move to chop that tile. That should be enough to get the Great Lighthouse three forest chops. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what their ultimate path will be yet. I'll have to think about it. We'll see what makes the most sense. Okay, so this one has 97%, so it looks like we should not have two spies stand on the same tile. Maybe. So we have minus 20% right now. Um, I wonder which one we take. Do we take ironworking or construction? Probably ironworking so we can see the iron location. Um, and my spy, yeah, see the spy retreats back to the capital, which means we have a lengthy walk to get back there again. That's why we need like four spies on constant rotation. But that's how this works. So it doesn't, like it's not that hard to steal the text. It's just getting there and getting back takes a long time. So we can keep stealing from Pakal for the time being. Oh yeah, we should probably finish meditation at some point. We have it almost researched anyway. Um, yeah, construction's not that well known by other AIs, but ironworking's probably more useful. Of course, if we get construction and then we get horseback riding from someone, um, then we could actually build um, elephants, which would be significantly better than anything we can build right now. Anyway, though, yeah, Chicago does, I mean, Lincoln does not seem to be building up for a strike against us, because I don't see any units over by me. If he's fighting someone, it's probably not me, but that's just a guess. All right, well, that was what we wanted to play up to. I wanted to play up to my first spy steal. We're also almost four hours into this game, so I think this is a good stopping point. Uh, good first session. The land is certainly as good as I possibly could have asked for in this game. And so we're going to look to continue doing more with espionage as we go forward. Can't research horseback riding. It's a classical era tech. It is not an ancient tech. It is a classical tech. Good question. All right, so... Inspiring. And we'll pick this up again next week. So thanks you all for watching. Thanks to everyone who was able to join me for the Teamfight Tactics games earlier. And I hope you enjoyed this Civ 4 stream. It's, it's a little weird doing the espionage economy. It's a little bit wacky, but uh, it's fun to try. All right. Have a good one, folks. I'll see you guys next week. Until then, have a good one. Take care. See you then.